Hello, welcome back to episode, well, another episode of Shards of the Void, uh, GURPS 4th edition fantasy adventure. We are the Kobold Cafe, this is episode 10, I'm Luke the GM, and with us today we've got Terra. The oh no, now? I didn't unmute you Terra, we've got Terra. Nice. Oh, I... Hello! <laughs> Now that, I'm not a, now that I'm not muted, uh, I play Orn, the crystal know-it-all. Jeweler. I wouldn't say I'm much of a librarian anymore. The jeweler. I'm a know-it-all. Jeweler. You were always and... a know-it-all. The uh, know-it-all was inside you all along. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that me. leads us on to two options. Let's go with Simon. Hey, up. Whoa. I'm Sigmund. I am an ex-mercenary captain turned overprotective father who is currently trying to not get involved in any fucking relations with demons at all. That sounds, his that sounds good. We've got Jared. Hi, I'm Jared. I am now playing Domun who saw some weird stuff going on from a distance, decided to investigate and has decided that these people might be able to help him. For now, I've got you described as a well-traveled knight in the character bios. Does that sound accurate? Right, you want a short little thing of word. Hmm. But we've I'll also... give you a thing later. Okay, cool. We've also got James. Hey -o. I'm Jaku. Usagi. Jaku's not stabbed anything for over two weeks now. Yeah, Jaku has a lot of stabbing. We've got Everoth. Hey, I play Ulrich, the traveling bard who has found himself a very amusing group of adventurers that he really likes to join in and find himself in trouble with. You've also not been stabbed in the groin in two weeks. Oh yeah! I guess he's been blessed by the gods so far. Or at least two sessions. That probably equates to about 20 minutes game time. Two sessions <laughs> his groin appreciates. Uh, uh, sometimes. Uh, and last but, lost, uh, last but not least, we've got uh, the character, Obscuro Coxineus Cornucopia Oides Algonaeo Viridescence. I've not even got it open. Tremolo Dendro Spatistro Bilomyces. I, I did not have it open, so that might be wrong. But he's played by Z Warrior. Yeah, that was very good for not having it open. Amazing. But yeah, uh, I'm Zivoyer, I'm playing Obscuro, also known as Spot, the Deep Earth Alchemist. And, well, let's go on this travel now after surviving a rather deadly encounter. You haven't seen anything yet, son. But... Uh, uh, be before we get going, oh. it, if you're getting that good at that name already... Like, by the end of this game, you are going to carry that shit to the grave with you. Yeah. Like, your last words. <laughs> Wait, before I die, Obscuro Coxenae is going to go behind his. Better than my last words. I'm probably going to say what something like, your last Boy, words? I die! <laughs> oh, That's it. Boy, why I die from some Mac Nugget. No, no, just, Oi, I die. <laughs> Uh, but last... I was always sure it was going to be, hey, watch this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's a common one, I reckon. I want to see a cool trick. Uh, but we digest. We do digest. Ooh, yes. It's been a while. It wasn't we, anymore. Might have been five episodes since we had one of those. But recap, brief recap. There's demons to the north. They're messing everything up. Uh, you actually went and met we a demon lord. That was kind of scary. You did this maybe for 90 minutes, two hours ago. Um, they weren't friendly. They knew that you'd been lying to them. They knew that you'd messed with that fella's memory. And they kind of wanted to eat you, rip your skins off. But Tabra, uh, a mage who used to travel with you, whipped out this fancy book and he were like, I'll blow the shit out of this book if you don't back off. 
And they were like, hold on, son. We like that book. Now, there was some strange deal negotiated whereby you got to hold on to the book for now if Tabra went with him. Uh, so they were like, oh, we'll take this little shadow man. We'll have him. Uh, you look after that book. We'll be coming for it. Uh, then they kind of just let you leave. Um, the strange crows that are definitely undead and possibly related to the demons have kind of been following you. Not super close, but there's definitely a couple circling overhead. I forgot to ask about the crows. Do they look like pestilent or uh, just like carry on? Uh, They're undead. Yeah, the partial yeah. states of falling off. Yeah, they. You wouldn't want to eat one. Uh, I was just wondering if they would be like carrying any diseases or something we should be worried about. Like maybe they don't look like normal crows. We, we can't I mean, really discern that. The rotten crows carry diseases. Crows. Not like rotten. Uh, if that's it, then yeah, probably not a good idea uh, to get attacked by those. At your TL, I imagine there's lots of bad spirits in there that'll probably give you a stomachache if you went near it too much. Hmm. <laughs> good way to put it. Uh, but I so this uh, knighty-looking fella in super fancy armor has ridden up and been conversing with all of yous. And you're still just heading south. I think Ox stopped the car for that conversation you were having uh, because he, he's really not bright enough to be driving that car and listening to a conversation at the same time. Not getting education? No, he, he were a slave, unfortunately, all his life. You're a bit quiet there, James. I don't know if that's just me. Is this better? Yeah, that's a lot better, thank you. My mic's out of place. But yeah. On the road south. Any last On the words? On road again. In we stop in that town for a little bit. We should steal more, steal more stuff. Mm-hmm. I think you just crest in the hills. Uh, it's been about two hours. You're not moving very fast, really. What with the mushroom having to walk, with his head covered by a big tent, it being just a couple of hours after noon. Uh, and some people give me some vision checks. Do that. Oh, wow, Doman. Do I even need a roll? Why are you all doing this to me? Nope. I'm far too busy uh, looking at butterflies. Okay, I've just... Also, can I hear anything? ...moved you to a new map. Let's see if you can hear anything. Uh. Okay. You've all noticed at least some things. Except for Ulrig. You failed by three, unfortunately. There are crows on the road ahead. Uh, stopped on two rocks. Uh, quite a few of them. I think maybe 60 crows altogether spread out in front of you. Uh, Jakku, you don't hear anything suspicious. Okay. The Doman, you definitely spot something move over behind these rocks somewhere. Just a shadow moving about and spot likewise in this direction you also spot some shadow dipping behind some rocks all right so oop. i think we have you go but... we got we got we we got company two people Someone lurks to the right. 
Ah, butterflies. Uh, did you want to give Doggo and Lord Fluffy Bottom their uh, smelling checks? Oh, I ought to. Uh, 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 uh. And uh, when Doman says something's lurking off to the right, you, I assume you say that in Meathan. Yes. Uh, I, I do that classic samurai click with the... You just thumb your sword? Yeah, like, thumb it so that way it's like the 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 one bit's part of the clear of the hilt, mm -hmm. or the, the sheath. That little click. Yeah. Um... That, that classic anime thumb movement. Can you roll me a fright check for Lord Fluffy Bottoms, please, Terra? Uh, I don't know if I have access. Oh, I do. Okay. Fright, you say? Yeah, he smelt something that might scare him. Oh, yeah. He's, he's scared. Yeah, he's pretty scared. Fifteen. a quirk uh, again no he's no, lost I'm one just, I'm just shitting you. <laughs> <laughs> what was it it's one d fp damage and one d seconds of stun so he's only stunned for a second but he's lost four fp there <coughs> damn not Lord Fluffy Bottom. No. But yeah, Lord Fluffy Bottom's just like yelps suddenly. Oh, <laughs> and then uh, Oops. Doggo's like sniffing. What's wrong with you? Ox pulls the cart to a halt. It's like, oh, hold. It's all quiet for people listening out suddenly. Doman will draw his brilliant black sword. Oh yeah, as soon as I see a short sword out of its sheath, I... I mean, I was sharpening my sword along the way, so... Your, your dagger? I have a sword too, what do you want about? <laughs> that dagger's a meme, bruh. Deal with it. I don't know, that dagger shanked the wizard good. Don't know what you talk about as well. Yeah, no, he, he did die by meme, if that's the case, I suppose. Uh, hmm. Um, I think it's been about long enough, probably. If you're all just sitting there about. I mean, I could say something in Demon if we wanted, but I don't know. Five seconds-ish pass. There's swords out. People are all on edge looking about, I'm sure. Uh, I'll make a couple of quick checks. Here. Yeah, I'm going to say reveal yourself in Demon. Okay. Just get the response. No. <laughs> um, I'm a loud, uh, in a loud authoritative voice. Do you want intimidate? Do you want acting? Do you want diplomacy? Like... Uh, I don't know. How, how is she doing it? You're, you're uh, out there. I imagined you were floating on the front of the car as you'd been talking to Doman. Yeah. Um, you could see something in the distance far ahead. It's coming from Cova. Like a bird. But it must be huge if it's as far away as it looks. All right, but what do, is she a, rolling intimidate to? It's approaching fast, but he, yeah, intimidate if you want to intimidate okay. him. Diplomacy if you want to. By seven. <laughs> oh wow uh, alright this is a stealth check you definitely hear something a couple of your jacku and bleep bloop 
Ulrich. You hear, like, oh. muttering, like, uh, 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 Some people what's are going out there? struggling and... to hold the nerve in the rocks out there. Definitely okay. inhuman sounds. That black dot is getting closer now on. Uh, actually, so you said I could hear, hear something, like, out this way? Uh, yeah, like, that direction. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, attack them before the can bird I, gets us. Can I get around the... I'm sorry, I want to go off the map a little bit. I want to try to get, like, around this rock on the backside. Uh, it's cliff there. Okay. Like, just this portion so, is, like, a so drop. No. Yeah, no, it, it slopes down fairly dramatically here. Yeah. Okay. Or at least, yeah. So, wait. What happens if I start moving this way? Uh, you're heading across the side of the hill and then coming down slightly. Okay. So I can do that. That's not an actual yeah, issue. Yeah, no, that's, that's no issue. Okay. But you're moving over there. It, it is approaching real fast now. Yeah, Sigmund is uh, standing at the ready in the cart. You know should, I mean? should we just go into turn order? Probably. You're staying in the cart there. I mean, I tell Lee to get down. Audio. Yeah, everyone gets about three seconds except for Jakku. Alright, uh, I am going to go in the back of the cart and... Uh, the entire battle, Luke, just so you don't have to keep coming back to me unless it's absolutely necessary. I'm going to be speed reading and memorizing the book. Rightio. I'm just preparing some tokens that I had ready that are on the wrong layer right now. How fast could you read with a speed reading skill? That's what I'm looking up right now. I think it's merge in pages or something with some multiple. Yeah, because I thought I got the impression that was a pretty thick book. I know, but that's what I'm doing. But actually, if you're only reading the margins of the pages, it's a lot faster. Well, I'm trying to read the entire thing and use my you know, eidetic I, memory. To... I said margin of success. So oh, yeah. pun. <laughs> oh, sorry. Boo. Boo. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my. Oh my, yeah, rather good. Just quick details for the uh, speedy, for those speed readers in the audience. There's your speed. Put speed on here. Okay. This bony fella's slow. I couldn't find the location for the new size modifier space for ages earlier. I looked everywhere except bio for so long. But I'm ready. Is everyone on the turn order? Uh, uh, have yep. on there. Yeah, I'm good. Yes. So we get our three second action before all starts? Uh, or... Yes, yeah, so you heard noise. Y mm -hmm. You heard noises in the rocks that way and that way. Sounded like creatures, people. I would like to make a concentration check to cast a spell. Yeah, around us. It's perfect. Audio. So you just start singing your song. He. Let me see if it works on the first time. Uh... Okay, it does. I think, right? Most likely. Uh, I'm guessing everyone would be wanting this. Is it a two yard one? Uh, this is the broken, uh, magic one. Yeah, but... That is 100 yards. 100 yards? 
Yes. Fine. And what did it do? Uh, let me post it. It's uh, he, he's preparing it in in case he gets uh the spell coming up in their way. Uh, it's cast as active defense. What you don't cast it right now. You cast it as an active defense. Oh, okay. So the 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 skill comes when they cast. You could yeah, because oh, okay then uh you could still cast it now, but it, it dis well, I... no, you it's cast as second? an active defense. Look, you do it as your active defense. Yeah. You said we each have three seconds, right? Yeah. We should probably just treat this in turn order uh, and and just skip the enemies. Mm -hmm. Probably be the most efficient way so we don't all try to do something all at the exact same time. Very well. Jakku. Oh, well, uh, you said Jakku I figured that. Jakku, I just take that move. You got to there on your first turn. Yep. Yeah. Sigmund telling Leah to get um, down. Yeah, no, tell her to get down. I'm pretty and much trying to make sure no shit's going down here. And going from a sit into a standing posture. Yeah, uh, I could roll tactics because there is technically prep time here to get in some kind of advantageous position. Yeah, give it to me. And it'd be against whatever the else thing's tactics is. Uh huh. I'll just go ahead and roll that right here. I fail anyway. Yeah, the cart's good. <laughs> yeah. Pretty pretty defensible position. Doman. Um he did one of those to move, so he'll just have gotten a bit farther than Forty out. Ulrich. Uh he's just wary because of the demons and he just takes one step and tries to make that concentration check and that's it. Okay. Uh, he's not he's not gonna cast until they do. You've listed it as casted as an active defense, but it doesn't need to be, surely. No, no, it is cast as an active defense because you are canceling the magic that they are doing at that moment. Oh, okay, so yeah. it only so, works on the one spell yeah. that's after you. They are working magic, and you immediately, as an active defense, cancel that out. I see. It's only lesser as... yeah. Gotcha. It doesn't wait for the next one. Uh, yeah. And it doesn't just, I, I like, thought it was... destroy all magic in that area or out. No, it just cancels one spell. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. It's uh, uh, I forgot it was not a ward. It's a counter spell. Mm -hmm. So what what are you doing, Ulrich? Uh, just uh, take that step. Uh, be ready in case they uh, they do some magic. He's just gonna sing. Radio, spot. Hi, uh, spot's just taking the fancy position. Like, uh... Oh, okay, still got some aliens in your audio. Sorry. You will be. <laughs> I think he, he probably left as I said that. <laughs> so it sounds especially, uh, mean. Here we go. Did I get the aliens? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, you got them, bro. Uh, uh, so, um... I just need to get mm, the turn track to the right place, so I know when we're at three seconds. And yeah, on. Uh, my turn, I'm heading one space back into the cart and drawing the book. Drawing the book, radio. Jack Bunny. Are uh, we done the three turn stuff now and in the combat? Uh, no, the, the, you've still got Two more turns, I'm going to say. Oh, I thought we were doing three turns worth of actions right then. No, I think we're just taking three loops um, mm. on the turn order, just skipping the enemy's turn. This Until they, yeah, they might start acting if they notice something strange. Looks I'm like Jacku just moved. Uh -huh. Have you got line of sight on anything interesting there, Jacku? Uh, I mean, I can't. You to... have gears. Oh, nope, I do. Gears I see of vision them. They check, were hiding please. behind the. They're they're hiding there behind the. Yeah. Vision check. I am also in like. Usagi defense mode, so those ears are twitching as well. Yeah, you you've spotted him. Okay. 
uh, you're not being particularly stealthy, are you? I'm, like, jogging down an open field. <laughs> no I mean, you can, roll, you can roll a stealth. What did you move? Uh, just roll stealth minus whatever you moved this turn. Well, mm -hmm. actually, it's stealth minus five if you move more than one step. Oh, that's a standard thing? Yeah, is, is what I actually... That's that's what it actually is. Oh. So... I mean, I guess I could... It doesn't hurt anything. Oh, See? Wow. Like, on the money. Uh, you got a uh, minus one to see me. Yeah, no, they aren't moving as you approach, Sigmund. Same thing. Radio. I to hold this position here and then to go to them. Uh -huh. At least with his daughter. That dot's getting bigger. Doman. I did about two turns of movement last time, so where I am now. Roy, you are. He's. Uh, he might notice Jakku. You got a minus one on the spot. Yeah, someone mutters in Retchen. Or that old wretch sounded thing. You're almost definitely the only one close enough to pick it up, Jakku. Hmm. And even then, possibly okay. not. What were you last hearing, check? By four. Oh no, yeah, you you hear like. first. Ulrich. One step, still on guard. That's like it. Behind. Sport. Um, I am with Ulrich there. Go on. Uh, I start reading, and basically I make a speed reading check, and if I um, make it, I uh, read at 2.6% of the nor as of normal. Radio. Uh, Jack or Which I do. Per second. Yeah. So, whatever you could read in a second, I, I'm doing it at almost three times. Cinematic reading. <laughs> I have a reason. Yeah, you do. Um, I'm impressed, honestly. Let me just move this turn order over nope. a bit. So that's not interfering. Oh, Jakku's like fully clinked. Yep. Mm -hmm. In a clink. It steps he, out. He was never trained to be a goddamn ninja. <laughs> I am not a ninja. I am a samurai. Okay, yeah, these. Uh, he's actually gonna back off this way, but looking up at you, Jakku, I don't even know if you can see him. Sigmund. Same thing. Daughter protecting <laughs> stance, gotcha. Yep. Doman. Doman will continue moving towards those rocks. They're not being stealthy. You may have seen them. Yeah, you you see the demon step forward, pulling his sword up. That they... one's got Stesian iron. Could you indicate them? Uh, oh, okay, they're under the turn order. Oh. Yeah, that <laughs> happened to me as well. <laughs> I just moved the turn order because Jakku had ran behind it. I, I just minimize it, and just whenever someone says my name, I go. <laughs> it is tricky to do incremental movement with horses. Yeah, it's easier. It's easier to have stuff up on the screen when you're running a 4K. So I have things open everywhere. Oh, what was that? What do you call that? What do the kids call that one these days? Is that a humble brag? That is a humble brag right that there. That is a humble brag. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, you've been sent forward. Um, a skeleton, a school net to be exact, floats up uh, and above this rock here fairly slowly, purposefully. How far above? Uh, two meters above. Okay, so... Easily within reach. Yeah. 
is is feet are like your chest height at the minute, probably. Given that you're mounted. Yeah. Uh, and as he's rising, he's speaking in Methan. And he says, hold your path. Ulrig. Uh... Give me a vision check. Okay. Where's the Russian accent? It's probably at like plus five. There we go. Oh, oh no, I don't see it. Uh, I just look. Oh, no. uh, it's enough for a bonus that you notice that person popping out. Oh, okay. But yes, uh, Russian accent halts your path. Uh, he's gonna stop and just look around to see where this mysterious voice is coming from. <laughs> Spot obscure cock, Cineas, cornucopioides. I'm still looking at the same place I was looking because I saw something there. Okay, okay. Oh, you did see something over there, yep. Yeah. Uh, it's not moved since. It it was like something popped out from behind that rock. Some shadow with a horn-shaped bit at the top and then popped straight back behind. It's not mm -hmm. moved since. Horn. Reading. Yep, continue to read. Do you want me to just coast off of that roll, or do you want me to re-roll it every turn? Uh, let's have a look. I'll let you coast off for uh, success by seven. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty friendly right now. It's only reading. Generous. It's only reading. Well, uh, the it, tricky part is remembering it. The checking. The tricky part is reading it, um, or remembering it later on. Uh, Jacku. Did you understand it? Understand, I believe. No, no, I, I don't even speak broken, Retchen. He, he was speaking Methan. to Methan. Yeah, he, he was speaking oh, in he accented Methan. Methan. Uh... Accented modern Methan. He told us, "Hey, bro, stop!" <laughs> oh, no, nope. of course, of course. <laughs> it sounded like he said, "Kill them now." Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go there. Okay, sorry about that lack of map. It's mostly just rocky crevasse. By the way, uh, just side note, I can do 15 words per second. Read. <laughs> God, you do sound like a librarian. Too much... Crystal, not enough library in past few sessions, but it's making up for it now. Uh, so he... That's all the skill gives you? That's per second, yeah, because aver... I had to do some math, because the average person can do about uh, 300 to 350 words per minute divided by 60, and then times 2.6 because of my um, uh, speed reading skill. That equals out to be 15.1666666. Six, six, six. The number of the beast. Sorry. Sorry, uh, Iron Maiden. We love you. Uh, hearing check from Ulrig. Vision check from Spot. Got it. Possibly a hearing check from Spot as well, but I'll wrap that into a perception if he's good at that as well. Nope. Ulrig, you dumb. Uh, uh, he's scared of the spooky ghost boys. Spot them moving around to the other side of the rock. Yeah, I see them. Definitely demons. Sigmund. I mean, I just wait. I heard this weird dude say something, was it? Or was he over there? Yeah, he, he bellowed it. He's got a... What's, what do you call it? A penetrating voice. Works. Give me a hearing check. Uh, plus three. I can do that. Try and succeed by like four. Thank you. Yeah, you heard it. Holds your path. Holds your path. Holds your path. Doman. Doman. <laughs> 
What will you? He will respond. Uh, he's letting you finish. But raising his arms up in front of him. And kind of like semi crossed. He's doing some all rig. Uh, do I see you now? Uh, did you make a vision check? Uh, not. Did you tell me hearing? Uh, I thought you'd be more more likely to hear him. Uh, I could see him. Uh, no, they. There is movement over there, but it just looks like wind flapping some moss on that rock. Okay, he's just bringing the axe above his shoulder and just being ready because he doesn't like the situations they're in. Mm hmm. Spot. Oh, one sec. And there are some demons here. Born. How many words uh, on a page? Uh, it varies. Average. Uh, maybe about 100. I just wanted to know when I got a words of page. Big this writing. seems like a level of detail beyond what's necessary for the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? It's a fancy book. Jacko. Uh, I'm up to 45. Oh my god. Words. The OII. Right. I forgot that. So, zoom in on the he is size modifier zero. Uh, yes. So you have a plus one to hit. Okay. So do then is okay. So what we're gonna do is. Uh, four levels of deceptive. That is rude. So, well, I mean, yeah, but this ends up being a minus nine because attack. Mm -hmm. Or, so that should have actually hit because the target number was nine. What, uh, what was your penalty? Uh, well, the the penalty would have wound up being minus eight. Okay, radio. Yep. So mm -hmm. down to ten, but I didn't want to go to eight. I said four levels of deceptive. So he is at a minus four. To aren't you also at a minus four for doing a moving attack though? So with four levels of deceptive, you'd be at a minus twelve oh, are total. You? You're you're at a minus four for a movement attack as well. I just thought it was yeah. yeah oh. It's more than just the cat. Okay. Uh, then in that case, two levels of deceptive attack. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I didn't realize that you were at that penalty. So. And then the plus one for. He does size just, difference. just barely. Uh, you can make a counter-attack after a dodge and retreat, right? Mm-hmm. And what's the bonus mm -hmm. for a counter-attack? Uh, it's a minus two to their parry, minus one to everything else. Oh, yeah. It's minus two to parry for whatever weapon they use to attack with, specifically. And... What's the penalty to skill? There's no penalty to skill for... Yeah, there is. Yes, uh, a technique, like right? Using the counterattack yes. technique, I believe the default is like it minus is three, minus two-handed sword. Or, so counterattack is weapon minus five. Right. Thank you. And you can add committed to that, no problem, surely. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but what's the point? Because like, 
you get a plus one to dodge it. Uh, it's a potential hit. It would have been a crit. Uh, I'm just going to mess all that up and say it were deceptive, you know, because that's <laughs> just essentially what I would have done. So you're at a minus one to defend. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to be cool and use a counterattack, but then I failed and made myself look dumb. All right. This will cheer me up. Nice little backflip. Or feel free to describe your defensive acrobatics yourself. Uh, I feel like it was a back handspring. Like, bent backwards under the blade as it passed over him and he followed through with it. Okay. The other one's stepping forward and attempting to poke you with his bone sword. That one that just swung at you had one of the black Stygian iron ones. This one's just got a bone sword. Uh, this is a minus one for your size. He's not doing anything else particularly fancy. And he's got a reach two on that. Makes a big extended lunge and pokes it out there. Going for your middling regions. Hoping to poke an owl. But you dodge it he deftly. He 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 winds up getting underneath me as I'm finishing that handspring. You're so cool, Jacko. Sigmund. Hey man. He's flapping. Gotta down make here. sure the daughter's okay. What turn are we on? He trusts Jack who could kill them, so. So yeah, Dome and Jack, uh, this rabbit that you just met, that's uh, just ran in to swing. Yeah, did it look like the guy was casting a spell? Uh, not particularly. I can roll like Ah. It was more just he looked like he was going defensive with his hands, like a pugilist or something similar. You're a pugilist. In that case, Doman's going to stay yeah, back. He'll have stayed back then. Mm, quite just okay. waiting, or nah, he just going to see what happens. Yeah, he'll wait to see what this guy does. Radio. Uh... He's going to step back, and he probably knows a bit of Usagi, but can he make himself understood in it? Yeah, he chitters at you. Uh, hold if you want to live. And he has pointed his hand at Jakku now as well. His gaping skull holes glaring deep into the rabbit's soul. Ulrich. Uh, so now that I'm able to know where it is, I'm going to take one step. Oh, no, we. I can move on in front of the horses, right? They're not, like, moving at high speed. Uh, no, they stopped at the minute. Okay, then I'll move right here. That's it. Right, you go. Uh, they should probably make fright checks at the end of this turn, though, because they might freak out. Sport. Uh, these all advanced, like, one meter, pretty much. And Ulrig, you did spot these guys over to your left. All right. Uh, I'm just going to take a step here and uh, be in a defensive position. Owen's reading. She's up to 60 words. <laughs> yep. And it's turn five. Uh, you've got the best viewer right now. Ulrig, I'm not going to force you to roll to see it. There is a dragon approaching. Oh. Oh. 
Where is it exactly approaching from? Uh, directly oh, ahead of you. Uh, yeah, it's not that close yet. Um, okay. But it looks like it'll be here very soon. Okay. It's moving fast. But, Jack Bunny, he told you in your language. <laughs> the, the ox wagon knows what's going on. Sorry, Jack O'Bannon. Okay. Is dragon dragon? He's got. You can't see the dragon from there. I don't think. Oh, okay. That rock's just a bit too high. Although uh, trigonometry. <laughs> Can someone do me some quick trig? I out? mean, I doubt it is at a high enough elevation. <laughs> no, it's coming in low to avoid uh, rabbit radar detection. Uh, yeah. You can probably hear the heavy beating of wings ominously mm. approaching in the distance, though. <laughs> Alright, I will take an all-out defense dodge. Ready go. <laughs> These two are both going to tech evaluate maneuvers. Uh, these three over here. Oh, let's get to them. Let's get to them because they're up to summit. They're uh, just going to... Yeah, they kind of like run out. Weapons in hands. And I'm losing this guy. Here he is. The birds, the crows are all cawing like crazy Ooh. right now as well, but they haven't moved yet. And Sigmund. Do, do I see the dragon? Uh, yeah, if you peep in, you peep out the front of the wagon, you'll spot that thing. I'm going to tell Lee we need to get out of the wagon right now. Lee will say, uh... No, I need her here. <laughs> I'm serious. We, we ain't staying in the cart where there's a dragon. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> or the lizard. Here. Doman, you'll probably notice it also. Just uh, something catches your peripheral vision there. Okay. He's still going to wait to see what this uh, Scovnet wants to do. Radio. It is a Scovnet, right? Yeah, uh, correct. He, he is a Scovnet. Um, I don't think I've discussed this much, and in fact, we've probably not even mentioned it. Oh, oh we've mentioned the contrary in the past. So if I have, feel free to call me out. But Scovnet culture is very mysterious and not much known. People don't really like to live in Scovnet area because, you know, they don't eat or drink or sleep or anything. So they don't really have amenities for people that do knocking around. Uh, but similarly, they're very insular about the history and the doinses. Well, to be fair, they also don't know what the fuck their history is to start. They do have, like, um, over 5,000 years of it here, though. True. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, some of them might have theories, or, but, you know, it's, it's generally unknown. If you're not a Scovnet, I can't tell you much. It's basically what I'm trying to get at, yeah. Because <laughs> you don't know! You, you don't, don't know. know! And you'd never seen one before you came to this strange, uncivilized land, Jakku. Oh, okay. go. Uh, it is. What? What did you? You started saying something to you, didn't you, Doman? You said, "What will you?" Yeah. Or was that yeah. run at it? Yes, exactly that. And just that. Yep. Uh. 
you have something. He's gesturing at the car with a hand that's not pointing at Jakku. He's still looking at Jakku. Ulrich. Uh, what? Do I see these things over here? I'm not sure if you told me. Yeah, you do. They're, They're legit just demons, run out. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know that behind me are the oxen, right? Yep. This Ox is fright good. check. Uh, they succeed. Okay, so I better get out of here before they trample me. No, they, they're okay. You, they, they, they succeeded. You hear one of the yeah. ox like... They may fail next turn, that's my point. No, they, they're so, good. They should be good. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to turn over here, uh, see the demons coming in and sing a song to boost my defense. Uh, concentration check. And two oxes. And two oh, oxen. Not quite. Maybe that one. It's nose. <laughs> but that looks like a success. Spell active. Okay, that would be extra 2DR for me on the oxen. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Uh, yep. He, he sing oh, sorry, go God. on, sorry. Ulrich, you start singing. Uh, hold to keep demons from coming. Gotcha, gotcha, spot. Uh, they got guns. Or weapons. <laughs> uh, they got guns. Spot pulls out a Glock. No, no, open <laughs> up the door, it's me. I'm an alchemist, but... Pull out my submachine gun. We're trying bullets. Obviously. What are you really doing? Uh, I'll just uh, take a step back. And they start shuffling in my, my pockets. You perv. But okay. One hand on each genital. Uh, I, I was going to do something other oh, than read. That's, that's fine. Go ahead and not read. How many... How is this book bound? Uh, iron and leather. Iron and leather? And... Uh, it's heavy parchment bound through the iron sheet at the back with thick thongs of the pale leather. Okay, so it's leather, but if we cut the leather, the pages would come out, right? Uh, yeah, possibly. All right, the... Are the pages numbered from when I was reading it? No. It's encrypted right. as well, that book, you've got to remember. I know, I know, I know, I know. You would also uh, have heard Tabra mention that it has magically resisted him. Uh, you also... Did you say that book has feelings? Or something along those lines? The book has feelings. Try no, just me mention that it just resisted his <laughs> magic. Can I tear a page out? You could try. Uh, you've already got the book grappled. Give me a strength check. Is there a bonus to this? Uh, uh, by one. Uh, they might be some bonuses. Te technical grappling. <laughs> God, no. If it's clearly dismembering it, is it like four times the HP it has to go for? Oh, no, this is actually... Yeah, you, you're going to rip the page out, so roll me thrust damage, please. It's like a shot. Okay. Tear. You feel it won't come out easy, so you have to do that. Like, four damage. Uh, ooh, yeah. It starts tearing, and then there is a blast of magical energy inside the car. Um, like, everything in there is thrown to the sides. Some of the loosely secured stuff at the back is blown out. People can give me HT checks, please. Just make sure Good that thing the daughter went out. Everybody gives. Did, did she have time to stand out? Uh, she, she would have. You told her to get out, didn't you? Okay, yeah, I told her to get out. Yeah, I think she came running out the front because there's no back of the map. Or I could just move this forward a little bit. Wait, wait, why didn't that go? 
There we go. HT or Will, whichever were better. Oh, well, then I made it by uh, uh, seven. Seven, yeah. Yeah, if it's by Will, no, I actually would have been the same for me. Uh, Sigmund, yeah, you're blown back out of the car. Make me a... De well, it, it does knock back. Did I get the page out of there, though? Uh, No, it started tearing, and that's when it blasted, and the book, like, will have fallen out of your hands when that happened, for sure. So that's what you what get for it? tearing a book, you monster. <laughs> I was gonna eat it. <laughs> if, you were gonna eat the book. I was gonna vor the book, guys. Relax. No, I was. What I, the plan was, but it's not gonna happen anymore. I was gonna tear the pages out, put them in, uh, grab another you, book, shove it in. What did you want me to roll, Luke? Um, I rolled twelve. Double that, twenty-four. What's your strength? What's my strength? Yeah. Uh, any specific strength or just all around strength? All over strength. Uh, twelve. Twelve. So minus two is ten. So you go back two yards. Give me a DX check. Just minus one or minus two? I believe it's minus two for how many spaces he moved. Yeah. Oh, damn. Ooh. Yeah, no, yeah. you fall out of the car on your butt. You don't take any damage. You landed in, like, soft soil. But uh, Do the ox start running? Uh, yeah. That... Yeah, there was an explosion. That's definitely enough to set the ox running. Um, can you give me a dodge and retreat, please, Ulrich? Mm -hmm. a, a minus two, because this were coming from your side, but this ox just straight tried to barge you over, and minus you just gave it two. DR. <laughs> nope. Oh, damn. Uh, it nopes away. Give me just a DX check, please. It. Okay. DX check should be... You could substitute uh, acrobatics. Pass, I think. Good. Yeah, you still stood up, but it proper I'm just... Sorry, what? There. <laughs> okay, like that still work, but you rolled intelligence. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's wow. minus two, so that would be seven out of ten. Mm -hmm, Not yeah. sure if that's enough. You still make it. Okay. I I'd be worried if you had a DX lower than seven. Okay, so that were a, that were a thing that just happened. Jakku. Uh, they were a blast wait. of magical energy inside the car. Oh shit! Yeah, all you know is that it might have been from the scuba. Yeah, so... He did point his hand over at the car just before it happened. <laughs> yeah. Kill the school, man. Jaku, like, comes in, and this guy is going to get... Is evaluate interrupted if you have to make an active defense? No. No. Noise. Failed power blow. Failed the power blow, so it's regular attack. It still costs you an FP, though, I believe. I already paid it. Uh, do it. Which one are you going for? The Stege and Iron Bearing one first? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And we are going to make this Deceptive 2. So minus 4. Minus 3. Correct. On the nose. Right on. Uh, he's going to attempt a dodge and retreat. Wah wah. Oh, snap. Isn't evaluate interrupted if you take damage? <laughs> I think so. I um, don't think so. Was well, this I don't the... think so. It never says. Was this at the torso? Uh, throat slash. Throat slash, gotcha. I think the only thing that interrupts Evaluate might be going out it's of range of your weapon. Yeah. 
was just losing sight, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll check here. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't mention being um, broken. Sick. I love that. I'm keeping my evaluate. Thank you very much. Uh, so that is a deep wound to his throat. Uh, uh, roll the 1d6, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Show He's a scoob net, so, though. Yeah. He doesn't have any vitals. No, Ooh. this is on the demon. This is on the demon. Oh, this is on a demon. Okay. The scoob net's the... floating over a rock, which yeah, is he... somewhat irritating. Actually, I thought the scoob net was like, right in front of him. He's levitating right now and hovering just over that rock. Somewhat irritating. <laughs> uh, 14 minus 8 is 6. Yes. Um, throat slash trigger knockdown roll? I'd imagine so. If it's enough to cripple it or something. 9... Uh... Yeah, throat doesn't get crippled. Oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's, I think that's called decapit- that's called death. Yeah, that's called decapitation. <laughs> I think he's all right, aside from shock damage and obviously the big bleeding wound in his neck. Which one is this? Uh, fella over here. I will mark him. Is there a drippy neck? Red somewhere? circle. Yeah, I'll just give him that. He's got a neck circle uh, he's going to take a step back take an all out defense dodge this one with the bone is going to attempt to thrust it into your vitals the size difference is offset by his evaluate and he's going to make this committed and two levels of deceptive for a minus five total? Should. No, committed in one level deceptive. For a minus three to skill. Ooh. I should have just gone straight up. It had a bit of crit, but I wouldn't have been at your vitals. And you've got a minus one to defend against this. Clicking on where I think the tab should be, and like, wait, buy it, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I should maybe point out it's a bone sword. Looks like you could easily break it with a parry. Oh. That's some pretty brittle bone. I'm not as good with the parry. But you dodge no problem. These slow down and kind of one's looking over to the master, the other two are looking at the caravan where the magical blast just went off. <laughs> Doman. Doman is going to ride up and uh, do a telegraphed attack on this one because it's still attacking and there is an explosion. Behind. That is. Uh, plus one for elevation difference, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there might be a minus one from attacking from a horse. It, it, I, he, if you're going fast enough. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not going fast No. Correct. I think that's a hit because yep. he can't defend. Just at the torso? Uh, a random location. Oh, yeah. As a comment, could we get a picture of the hit location table added to the handouts? Yes, I will get on that in the break that is coming up shortly uh 12 is the left arm okay five cutting damage and um looks like armor advisor too nice 
Oh, yeah. I'm a device um, two. God damn it. I'm oh, a shit, to get that. He's Lord, suffering shit. from the follow-up damage for five seconds. This is the how, first of them. How in the fuck? <laughs> it's a really it's a brilliant shiny black sword. It doesn't quite look Shit, can I get like a red sword? Normal. Does that give you like Arbor Divisor 3? <laughs> you have found the red sword. Wow, okay, so Armor Divisor 2. Uh, what do you do we round in, in the case of Armor Divisors? What the fuck, you're uh, literally rolled up with a magic sword. Round up, so... 2 cutting damage becomes 3. Uh, that's not enough to cripple it, but that's still, you know, pretty nasty. And then 1 corrosive following up. The corrosion completely ignores... Um, DR. Yep. Yeah. Actually, it destroys DR after a while. Mm -hmm. But it, it's ignoring... Oh, so so yes. is that just against the DR for now? No, no, it ignores DR. All right, yep, yeah, the follow-up. Gets you. So, yeah, uh, that's a decent amount of damage on him. Uh, four. <laughs> but you've hurt his arm, for sure. Only a bit more will cripple it. Oh, you've upset me. He's just going to take off moving. Uh, full flying move forward. Straight for the car. Ulrich. I wish to make a mimic cry uh, later, but to remember I just need a successful intelligence check, right? Uh, yep, yeah, mimicry. Yeah, okay. I am trying to remember with the voice of the Demon Lord the words in ba bi Bistial? Uh, Abyssal? Wretched. In Wretched, that uh, he used to hold the demons the last time we met him. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think you can remember. I'll take one step. Uh, so I am confident that I remember and wait for them to get closer. And then my turn. Radio spot. I'm holding a potion in my hand now. Holding a potion. Uh, aliens are back, but we're about to take a short break. On the book did just blew out your hands book, away from you. Go on. Did the book break the lanterns? Uh, yeah. It, I don't think they were any lit, though. It's, uh, like... Yeah, it was day. Like, there's no reason But there's it. oil everywhere. Uh, not everywhere, but in some places where you, you'd rather not have a bunch of oil. Oh, do you <laughs> forgive me? I'm gonna actually yell at, uh, on my free talking action, I'm gonna yell at Ox to jump off, and I'm gonna grab my, uh, grab the... Flint. You're just ruining all my plans, aren't you? <laughs> You're just well, ruining every plan I have. At this point? What was that? Sorry, Sigmund? Wouldn't the car be speeding away at this point? Uh, it is moving currently. I mean, I don't think this thing speeds. But like, yeah, not speeding. You ever see cows run? It's actually <laughs> yeah. not that fast. Blistering <laughs> speed of one But yes, yeah, so at the beginning of second. next turn, I'll have my flint and steel out. Oh, okay. Uh, I think that's a great time for a break there. Orn glances at the oil covering the lavish silks and the dry old parchments and pulls and out the books. a flint and, and everything steel. Everything else we have in our cart. Because everything in our cart would fly. Oh, God. Uh, uh, everything that I want, everything I want to keep in there will sur can survive fire. So. You should go fair point. But uh, I will be right back in five minutes or so.
And we're back. Welcome back. A uh, quick recap of the last hour. Uh, a suspicious shit on the road. Turns out to be demons. Jakku hears one of them talking in Methan and mistakes. Hold where you are for kill them all and starts slicing. Uh, it quickly becomes evident that a dragon's approaching real quick. Uh, a wizard pops up that well the the skeleton wizard who told everyone to hold is now flying towards the cart fast which just kind of farted a bunch of magical energy and sigmund and his daughter out speaking of which pretty sure that would have maybe dropped my sword uh if it were drawn yeah yeah because i had my sword on yeah is it in the cart or out of the cart It'll be Good out Good question. What, what happened to all the shit in our cart? Uh, a fair chunk of it is just scattered around out here, but your sword's clearly visible amongst it. Okay. How far away is it? Uh, only a couple of yards from you. Oh, in fact, no, because you fell out right there, so it is right there. Like, if you would have dropped it while after getting momentum, so it would have gone roughly as far as he would. Uh-huh. Gotcha. There's no atmosphere on this planet. It's like the moon. You can drop a sword and a Sigmund at the same time and what have you. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's at this moment that you see the dragon is where it appears on this map. And it looks it, like it's slowed down a bit and may well be about to land. Jacko, you don't see that because there's a rock blocking your path. And also someone's trying to stab you. But it's Jacko's turn. Right, Jakku. This guy right in front of me. He is going to get. That guy's left arm is kind of weird now. Yeah, left arm sliced. And also okay. kind of dark and nothingnessy near the slice. The wound is shadowy, uh, melting, turning to nothing though, dissolving, disintegrating. Okay, then in that case, we're still going to go knee slash. We're going to go right knee, and we're going to go deceptive two. So this is at a grand total of minus three after size modifier, and we hit. <clears throat> he can't dodge backwards. How many deceptives did you say then? Two. Two levels of deceptive. Oof. This is going to be it. Oh. oh, but that's dodge and retreat. He can't dodge and retreat. He can dodge to the side for a, not a plus three, uh, only a plus one. You bastard. And I believe that came out at an eight. Twelve minus two for the deceptive. Uh, oh, well, no, it, it'd be nine plus one. Ten. Minus two for the deceptive. Huh? So eight, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got went through with that, and I was like, "What the hell are you talking about?" And then, so the government right is watching us. <laughs> the wyvern lands and skids forward. It's quite clear now that there is a demon riding the bastard. Someone's been watching some GOT. <laughs> Uh, I've actually or Lord playing. of the Rings or any uh, any number any of other... other fantasy thing with a dragon uh, in it because humanity always wants to ride the most deadly -ish. I wish yes all that riding of dragons in Lord of the Rings you have Ring right? you have no idea how much I wanted to give this guy a huge flail worms. Uh, <laughs> great throat worms do it coward and, and actually Daenerys also technically rides worms this is a wyvern Win. Can we get like a low midi, like yeah. crappy quality, like Game of Thrones theme play in the background? Just <laughs> Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. Where's my kazoo? Wieners, wieners, kazoo. wieners, wieners, wieners. <laughs> we digest. We yes. we have uh, well, a, a dragon landed with someone riding it, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, the GM is such a nerd," <laughs> which is true. Which I am. The Lich King lands before you, wielding his great black steed and iron flail. 
God, this is the Lich King, isn't it? We're good. we're going back to World of Warcraft here. I'm pretty sure he's called the Lich King, the guy who rides the dragon in uh, Lord of the Rings. No, he's called the Witch King. Witch, Witch I was going to say witch. Mm. World of Warcraft game. It's so hard digesting here, I apologize. A dragon just Here's... landed again, it's a big deal. Oh, shit. Do we okay. hear a rumble? Yeah. It's like Skyrim. Your camera shakes. Grr. Okay, he's going to take a step forward. He's not suffering from shock anymore. He's going to take a swing at the Usagi's torso. May as well just go torso. He's going to evaluate for plus one, though. And let's try and crit. Don't forget size modifier. Mm -hmm. That size modifier is offset by it. And I, I didn't manage to crit. I were open to roll a six or less. The other one moves his full move over here. And then like does a quick turn around. Looking quite deft as he does it. Wielding his bone sword there. This one is going to run to here, and he's taking a defensive stance, it looks like. After that explosion, everyone's fair game, I reckon. So, yeah, these start running. Sigmund. Stand up? Mm-hmm. I think you only right. fell to like a sitting position, so you can spring straight to your knees, pretty much. Yeah, I'll do that and start reaching for my sword. Okay, so he's gonna start dismounting. And like, <laughs> Doman. Can I move forward a bit? And swing at this guy. Gotcha. Is next wounded. And this is an attack from the side, so it'll be a minus two to dodge. Just flat out regular old attack. Uh, he can kind of add a retreat. Uh, although his current Not health, that. his dodge might be reduced. No, it's not. But what did he say? Third... Oh, did I roll that as ox? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> ox, bring it. Ox, go and give it to you. What did he say? 13. Uh. Did you enjoy that, Dad? <laughs> That's right, everyone. James is my dad. And 13 damage. Hey, oh, location. location. Oh, I never gave you the thing in the break. How rude of me. Left leg. It's a bit weird, but good on you. <laughs> the other guy takes one damage, and this guy takes one damage as well. Ooh, in addition. That arm... Uh, how much to cripple an arm? One uh, third. To cripple it, it's going to be half the HP for an arm. Uh... To just sever it, I believe it's going to be... Is it the entire HP for it? I think so. Yeah. T twice yeah. required to cripple, I think. Yeah, twice required to cripple is what we And then to... four times to actually... Like remember it, yeah. Clean obliterate it. out of existence. Oh yeah, obliterate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. He yelps in pain. At it. He's like, Arr! Um, Ow. it's not quite crippled yet, though. He's still grasping his sword with it firmly. Or did you get him in the left arm? Left. Uh, either way, he's using two hands on his weapon, so it's definitely affecting him a bit. 
And this person only takes the one corrosion damage to his left leg. Yeah. You slap as well as the cutting. Shadowy to him. Oh, it's armor divisor two. One cutting damage. Yes. So, ouch. Yeah, that really hurts. It's like, ah. Hey. Yeah, that, that one with the Stygian Iron Sword is significantly hurt now. The wizard's going to continue flying towards the car. He can move like that far now. Oh, that's overshooting there. The dogs have most likely gone mental at the car exploding. <laughs> Maybe not that mental. <laughs> you meant to with it, mate. <laughs> oh, and Ox would have jumped off by now. Ulrich? I rise my free arm towards them, and I, in the best voice I can mimic, cry as the Dark Lord say, Oh, small heart! Calling them to stop. You, you want to you wanna drink water there, buddy? You sound a little bit rass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Let's just have a quick check here. Oh. Well, it looks like it might have worked. The one at the bottom and the one at the top kind of just blink at you. Spot. Okay. Please knock out that wizard spot. Yep. What, what wizard? The one that's flying at us? I don't see him. Uh, there's spots vision for everyone. That's uh... Ooh. Wah, wah. <laughs> this guys. <laughs> I see the dragon down there. And yeah, that's that's all I'm seeing. And the crows, the undead crows. What, what wizard, bro? What wizard? Uh, the one that was screaming at us a minute ago. Uh, the the crows all took flight as the dragon landed. By the way, like as it hit the floor, they all sprung up. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be aiming at this guy. Right, yeah. <laughs> Aiming to throw you a little potion there. On, are you striking a fire? I, I say to the book. In demon. You, you're stupid, and then I light the cart on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so did you say the cart? The, everything on fire. I'm lighting the book and cause, but yeah, I'm lighting the entirety of the thing. This is because is the book, where did the book land? Is it near like the oily books and uh, tra draperies and things or yes, it landed like uh, straight in front of you. Uh, the lantern above the nice sack of kindling it landed on. It's, it's, yeah. it's landed in a bucket of gasoline. <laughs> then I light the bucket of gasoline. Uh, yeah, it, it takes easily the fabric underneath it. And spreads out around the book straight away. And just letting you know, Luke, the uh, box of my equipment uh, for Julie might have been blasted out because it was near the back of the cart. Uh, radio. Um, I don't know though. Is it still there? I'll roll a secret look. Uh, you can see it. It's it. It did fall out, indeed. Okay, cool. Um, so I was gonna grab it if it didn't. You're not holding on to anything in the car, are you? Uh, I kind of move with the cart though. Okay. Because it it's based off of where. I am not like the world because otherwise I wouldn't be able to travel in the cart or the boat or any or boats or anything like that. Unless you strapped yourself down. Yeah. Gotcha. So it operates off of whatever I'm in. Okay. Uh, so crows have taken flight, and these ones over here are just gonna. 
And, oh, bit of roll 20 lag there. This way. Yep, that looks nice. These ones are flying straight forwards. Jakku, Banny. Jakku. Jakku, Banny is, in fact, now this will be an attack. Might as well make it a side attack. And we'll make it deceptive too, and uh, take the minus four movement attack penalty. We are going to this. Person nine. Yep, there we oh. go. <laughs> Two levels of deceptive. Correct. You've, you've hit. Nine damage. You're on yeah, a I'm damage on. frenzy today. To the throat. To the throat. I'll roll your 1D. Oh, yeah. Uh, would, would you roll me a 1D? I'm, I'm cooking bacon. <laughs> Earth 3, so not the artery. And amazingly, it's not enough to take him down, but it is deep cut, and he definitely... <gasps> at the pain. Okay. Good. Excellent. The wyvern's just holding for now. I uh, don't think you win. Any kind of range that is useful to me yet. That's gonna take back. Yeah, no. Okay, so. Er, this guy's gonna move to here. He's gonna take a step back, take it all out, defense, dodge. Uh, yeah. This guy's going to step two here and do the same. Sigmund. Please kill the wizard. Oh, oh, this one. Sigmund can't get over there in time to kill a wizard. All he can do kill is stand up with his sword. <laughs> he already has a sword, actually, so what he's going to do is... Step, like, right here. And do, like, an all-out defense dodge. Gotcha. Uh, Actually, no, no, it'd have to be Perry in this case, because if he dodged, it just hit his daughter. Uh, Ulrich, this demon pointed his sword at you and said something in demon. Cross what clash! He, he, he said, who are you? I will. Uh, first, because I Ulrich will it's at this point see not the, quite your uh, turn yet. Oh, sorry, I thought it was my turn. No, no, not just yet. I just let you know what he'd done. This person okay. leaps off his wyvern, Doman. Doman? Right, right. Um, Doman's gonna go around this guy. To off fancily map. end up back on the. <laughs> you got a Pac Man it, got you. Well, no, if it were Pac Man, you'd, <laughs> you'd come, come out over side. here, but. <laughs> and before before going past that guy, I had a minus one to hit, but plus one to damage because um, of speed. Mm hmm. Uh, so You're a knight, bro. That would have been from behind, right? Uh, yeah, technically a run around, so um, it's minus no, two. Not the horse is moving. 
that might be semantics. If the mount's velocity is 7 or more relative to the foe, the attack has minus 1 to hit, but plus 1 damage. No, but I mean... That's for all the... that speed does. Yeah, for the dodge. It's still just a run-around attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, but he doesn't have that moving run attack. He is at significantly lowered HP. He's also taking a damage from the corrosive. Yep. Both of them are on this turn. One more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, that doesn't seem to affect... Oh, crap. This is the one you just swung at, going for that. Oh, oh wow. I cannot believe he made that. And this one up here. Let's see. He just dropped to zero HP as his arm, you see, went limp and fell off from holding his sword there, Jakku. Oh, shit. And uh, let's see how he does. Uh, Is that the guy? They moved around a lot while I was not able to see. Yeah, they they were moving about. He's good. He's conscious. But missing a sword arm? Missing a sword arm. Because he just dropped his arm. It was holding a sword. Correct. Uh, were it just these guys' turns? Uh -huh. It was just the demon's turn, and they were asking, uh, they spent the turn trying to figure out what the heck was going on with Ev. Correct, correct. Who is this person you're talking <laughs> He flies around and kind of starts to start looking in the back of the car. He says in Methan, uh, only accented to you lot over here. Mm. Do not move! Oh, right. Now can you see him spot? <laughs> <laughs> now I can see him. Or do you need to make a spot check? Wah -wah. <laughs> the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out for the bacon. <laughs> But Ulri Ul Ulrich, you're you're up. He said something to you. I think you had a response planned. Yes. Uh, I do see this sneaky little crow right by my side, right? Uh, no, that that's not a crow. That's ox. He's been oh. backing off slowly since he jumped off the cart. It looks uh, like a crow from my direction. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they, they do look a bit like a crow. I agree. Uh, he is. The guy just said <laughs> at you. Yeah. yeah, but uh, I'm going to try to remember something I can... Uh, ah, Zaki! I don't remember what Tabra said back that actually made them stop, but he's going to try to mimic cry that with Tabra's voice. What? What? I don't remember. Did, did Tabra ever say <laughs> something to him doesn't remember. <laughs> no, the only he... thing that Tabra ever said in their language was hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's uh, basically you, what he said. You'd be mimicking Orn if you're trying oh. to. I, I was the one j jibber jabbering away, yeah, and you listened. were the one that opened right that time. You listened to Orn have a big time. conversation. Then, then it would be Orn, not Chopper. I thought. Could you clarify was... what you mean when you say that one time that something happened? Uh, uh, when we first met them, the demon lord talked to, I thought it was, Ta I thought I remember Tabra spot and Orn on the front. Oh, that was when I was talking wretch, not demon. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Then he would try to speak to wretch you spoke there right. that actually make them, uh, not attack us? Not All attack right, well, you? I just no, said, what, hello, what friend. Then that's what it. Hello, friend. Tabra pulled out the book and that 
Uh, no, the first time we met them, uh, it, it's... The book was after. Yesterday. The book was after. Yesterday afternoon. Yeah. The book was yeah. like uh, two hours ago. So he's trying to say hello, friend, and wretch. Ulrich is just basically spitting out words that he thinks might work. He has no idea what they mean. So he, he will go with Orn's uh, hello, friend, in wretch. Give, give me an IQ check, please. Okay. Uh... Eight. Yeah. You say hello, friend, and wretch. You don't know what that is, or what that you just said that, but yeah. yeah. However, mm -hmm. a door suddenly opens in the stone. Spot. What the hell is this guy? Turn around a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> still aiming at this guy. Okay. Two seconds of aim on him. On. Is the book on fire? Uh, no. Um, it. You can see it's floating slightly. Uh, the flames are licking at it though, and it seems to have started shrieking. Almost like a kettle starting to boil. Wow, this book is going to hate you. Definitely gained the book as an enemy on. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, all the stuff got knocked out. Is that guy in the back there? Uh, who just peeked his head in? Uh, he, he's not in the cart yet. And the cart but He is... peeked his head. Yeah. Or, or he's around the corner, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for... I'm going to try to scare him. I'm going to go for an intimidate check. <laughs> Fair deuce. I'm going to say uh, in the demon language. Uh, you fool... Uh, no, what's, what's it good for it? You monkey's banana. What? Yeah. It's some kind of insult. Or, or, or an insult in that language. I don't know. I'm just trying to scare him, I'm, but I'm trying to find... Uh, yeah, you monkey's banana. Intimidation. Banana, banana orangutan. Sorry, I'll, I'll give you a chance to do a bit better. A verb. Huh? I'll give you a chance to do a bit better, or you might be at a slight penalty to that. Okay, well then I will... I will say, retreat, you fool! In demon. Um, to him. In my scariest voice. Scariest voice. Oh, snap. I, I beat him. Yeah, you did beat him. It's like... <clears throat> uh, the cart... Uh, and the cart moves. Moving. The crows are moving. Where's my other crows? Zoom out some. Too much! Oh, they're right here. That's, that's glorious. Okay, so the swarm of crows kind of descends around you, Jakku. They're not sort of pecking at you, but they kind of like flap past your face as well there, Doman. But they kind of... <laughs> Positioning yeah, okay. themselves around you, Jakku. But they're not like attacking me. Not yet, no. But it's it's pretty much like a whirlwind of crows appears okay. around behind you. And you're up. The servants, air quotes, are kind of grouping up back here. But it is Jakku. Look at him go. Wow. Class who's Jakku's famous uh cheese it <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the Wyvern 
starts running forwards at its full land move, beating its wings. Wow, I, I bring new meaning to uh, the term rabbit punch. <laughs> hey -o. Cause that's exactly what I'm doing. Like that's my tactic. Uh, he's down to zero HP. Uh, he's he's okay for now. He needs to fail a fourteen to not be able to do it. He's just gonna turn and lean against this rock, though. Oh, I'm trying to grab him to spin him round, but I'm too far away. I wish the swivel control scaled with zoom. If a roll twenty developer sees this, please implement it, but don't ban me. I could get banned out of. Uh, uh, this guy. He's not feeling very happy as well. I think he's gonna take. Oh, but he's moved severely impeded right now. Yeah, no, no. Stuff all that. He's spinning round and taking all out defense. Dodge. Uh, he just steps forward slowly, pointed his sword at you, and he's just looking at you there, and pointing it at you. He says something back, no, yeah, he's like, just gosh, and then he spits some grey, horrible liquid. He said, you are no friend, Orn. These two just look at each other. Confused. They might have heard the uh, the retreat, you fool. Also, I yelled that really loud. Mm -hmm. These guys are less likely to be intimidated than that wizard. But, but let's see. Yeah. Mm. No, yeah, I think one of them does indeed turn. This is, starts retreating, you bastard! It's demon spineless, Sigmund. What can I do other than just wait? Advance, attack, for glory. He's like hovering in the air, isn't he? Yeah, but he's the cart level because he just he. Yeah, he's. He's hovering in the air, but he's not even a meter off the ground at the minute. Okay, okay, that's a lot less than what I thought it was. Yeah, he's looking in the cart. I mean... While well, keeping can... his eyes on you, look. Might as well move here. This will be verse 9, I guess. Actually, no, that doesn't even reach him. Well, actually, would that reach him? Uh, yeah. That would less Can than you reach move, up right? one meter with your sword? But he's also two meters away. My sword only goes two meters. You can, in which we... case, you can still strike his feet easily. They're at your, they're at the easiest height to strike. Yeah. Right, my... The only thing that's I out of reach step is one... I can the still head. step one more. It's still just going to be one move, anyways. It's, oh, it's still going to be verse of nine, anyways. So I might as well just roll. <clears throat> We'll go ahead and swing here. Can I still swing for the throat? And it's still a nine. Uh, minus four. You'd be at minus nine for swinging at the throat, uh, unless you made it committed. I have target attack. So it would still be oh, a nine. Then. Yeah. So it's it's minus four for the move. Okay. And then minus whatever for your target It'd attack. It'd still be verse at nine though. Yeah. But your penalties uh, may also Oh, now. shit. Well, you made it. Yeah, so that's at the throat. Uh, at the throat. And run around attack. Did he even see me? Because, like, it, it looked like he had his back to me. Uh, you started there, right? One hex in front of Leah. I was one step... I actually advanced. No, so. he was. I thought he was in between Doggo and yeah, right there. I was there. I moved there. Mm. And imply he doesn't have any vision. Fedus. 
very windy. Who's breathing into their bike? Yeah, James, you're, you're, you're. Oh, it's that bacon. Freezing in the storm. Oh, bacon. Uh, hash brown patties now. <laughs> but, no, yeah, you're correct. If indeed, and the consensus seems to be against me, maybe I'll rewatch the stream and we'll find out exactly. <laughs> But go ahead, show me damage. Yep. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I don't know why it said it's affliction. That's not correct. 16 damage. Wow. Any armor divisor? No. Roydio. Uh... Yeah, that's cutting, by the way. I don't know why it's set to affliction. My sheet must have walked out. Or I must have flicked it on by accident. He is afflicted with death being cut with a sword. Ooh, I need to double check something quickly. Uh, because he's scooved it, I don't think the 16 is doubled. Yeah, probably not. But still 16. He's got a throat, but he's homogenous. Well, he's got a neck. That's still brutal. Does he have armor to the neck? Uh, yeah. He's got some kind of barrier at the minute. You saw, like, magical sparks slow your sword down briefly as you came in. Uh, uh no, you, you still get a times two wounded modifier to his neck. Oh, dear. Ouch. Yep. Is he done diddly fucked up? Uh, yeah. Uh, it, pff, well, your sword chops into bone there, takes a big nick out of it after passing through his magical barrier, and he screams in pain. Ah! This rider's just gonna step forward a bit. Oh my god. What are you doing to this poor wizard? So mean. So mean. I'm gonna cry. Omen. Doman, oh crap, that destroys my ability to move my horse. He moves over there and attacks the guy while going by. Roydio. Can I get horse line of sight as well? It, it'd make it a lot easier. Uh, I he imagine it would. Is... But can you... Uh, can you see out your horse's eyes? Just so I can move my token than the horse, because that's so much easier. Okay, so that guy will be able to defend against this attack as he wants. I'll put it deceptive at level... Ooh, what level will that And I will miss. Oh dear. Okay, I just got stabbed in the back of the neck. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, I don't like the looks of this. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Uh, ear. It starts falling to the ground as if it stopped flying but just as he hits it there's another magical woof and there's just nothing there that worked thank you wow as if Ulrich uh, you got quite a I conversation now see the going uh, but I, I now see the crows, right? Yeah, they're uh, they coming straight at you, this group. So uh, Ulrich will notice the crows more than the demons. So he would think that he frowns when he now points at the crows. Uh, well, sorry, he would think that he frowns at the demon when he's frowning at the crows pointing at them. And if you will allow me a burst to try and counter the song. Counter the what? 
Counter uh, what? The, the what? counter the spell of the crows. There are spells. What spell? Right? What spell? No. Undead the crows are a spell. Yeah. N no, they're they're crows. They they're don't count as a spell. I cannot counter them. No, you'd have to counter the spell as it will be in cast. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you oh, have okay. an so active so defense, so if they have to be actively cast again for you to counter. Okay, so that's not gonna work. I'm well, just gonna take one stand and beat him on the head. Defense. Well, that's sorry, Tyler. I suppose it, it makes. I, I suppose it makes sense that he could cancel out a single one if you were working against the spell animating it. If it was like a duration-based thing, and it'll eventually expire anyways. Hmm. So is it possible or not? Oh, I'm curious. Probably not. Okay. Uh, so if it's not. Uh... Go on. Sorry. If it's... If it's not possible, I'm just gonna take one step and beat him on the head with my axe. Fair deuce. Boop. Uh. Oh, just need to set that back to normal. On the nose. He jumps back from it. Like, ah, sport. That's it? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm going to wait for the crows to be about to uh, strike Warwick if that's what they're going to do. Or, to be more precise, I'm going to wait for the crows to be around here. And I'm gonna launch my attack on, on this guy. Gotcha. On? Uh, is the book on fire yet? Uh, no. It's floating higher now. And the noise is getting deafening. Have you got protected hearing? No. Roll me HT straight up, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Oh, dear, yeah, it's like, pop, pop. Silence. And that I book is... forever? Hopefully not. <laughs> no, probably not. I, I don't think so. We'll have to look into that at the next break, which is coming up soon. <laughs> but that, that, could, that would be scary. Uh, well, even though... I... Magic could fix it at the worst, but... <laughs> well... I can't hear it screaming anymore. I'm in pain. Uh, can I still act or? Uh, yeah. Um. Hell. How many lands? Really relief we... then. I'm gonna pick up one of the. On fire or semi on fire? Can I pick up one of these semi on fire? Um. Uh, cloths. Yeah. I do that. Uh, huh. I'll just. Double check to make sure we're doing everything kosher on, like, the loud noises hazards. Kosher. Keep oh, it loud, kosher. loud noises, though. I just realized I need to roll something. Mm. Yeah, that does scare you as well. It does. I forgot you had phobias. Uh, da, 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 da. Hazards. What wait, is what is this fright threshold thing? Oh, wait, no, I clicked the wrong thing. I don't know. It explains fright. the game over. I still see a 16 versus whatever. That's pretty fright bad. Fright threshold is basically... It, it, it is basically kind of like rule of 16, but for fright checks, I believe. Okay, so I so, fail. Yeah, so 13 is cap. Because there's, uh, like, perks and stuff that boost it by one, but... Uh, Anyone know off top of the red? The <clears throat> loud noise? Is it a quirk? I do not. I never thought to look it up. Uh, but you got an 11 there on the fright table, Terra. Yeah. See the result of that, at least. Where the hell is 
is it? 360. Stunned for 2d seconds. Okay. Oh, wow. Six seconds. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm in the flaming card for six seconds. <laughs> oh, dear. And Jakubani, finally your turn again. That, that were a popular second, that one. A lot is going on. Okay, yeah, it's it's called the rule of 14 oh. for fright checks. It's if the will exceeds 13, reduce it to 13 for the purpose of a fright check. So that anything of, like, if 14 or above is an automatic failure. Oh, it wow. doesn't apply to any other will rolls, just fright checks. In the words of, uh, I've forgotten his name. Wow. Owen Wilson. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Jacku, Wow. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh, wow. Jacku will. Move there. Moved there. Just a move maneuver. Okay. The, yep. wi the wyvern takes off. Moves its regular flight move forward. And then kind of abruptly stops to go into a hover position. And you're going to be deaf for the rest of this fight, Terra. But it's a crippling injury thing where we need to check for duration. at the end but yes okay demons in pain Don't did you worry. accidentally delete the uh, scootheads token uh no he disappeared the body and everything oh okay as he fell unconscious yeah, and approached the ground he just poofed away yeah sigmund thwacked him with a throat he went oof and then just vanished yeah <laughs> oh dear Boop. Uh, these guys are so wounded. Can he even do that? On the nose. So he's going to run up to here. This one's just going to back up against the rock. Uh, they both take another corrosive damage, correct? Maybe multiple. I think we forgot it last turn. Doman. Uh, this guy's going to swing at you as well, Ulrich. Mm -hmm. uh, do, do, do. You're a bit bigger than him, so he's got a bonus. I'm going to go for just the torso. No, why do that? I'm going to try and poke you in the vitals. Miss! What? <sighs> Very well. He misses. You don't need to dodge at all. Uh, Ryder is ready in his... The, the Witch King ready his black mace of doom. Doman. Hmm. Did you skip over me? Oh, yeah, I did. I did. I apologize, Sigmund. It's because I accidentally moved the turn order before. Oh, no, I was just going to say, so is that dragon still coming forward? Uh, yeah, uh, it's hovering midair at the minute, uh, opening its mouth. Cool. I'm going to motion for Lee to follow me, and we're going this way. We are not dealing with... <laughs> uh, uh, oh, this dragon's close enough now as well. It's not its turn, though, so I'll hold off. I'll do that next. It's free action, so radio gotcha. Just full move maneuver, and then it's Doman. So I can kind of see this now. It's kind of scary, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um... In fact, yeah, every everyone, roll me a fright check, please. It's at a minus one. 
Unless you're unfazable. Uh, I actually don't have unfazable. Or already catatonic. Of course he makes it. I don't think I still I'm see good. the creature. I don't have a line of sight. You said minus one? Uh, yeah. Minus one. Cool, alright. Uh, no, I... actually, I, you don't need to roll until you see it at this range. So, Ulrig, cool. you're good. Okay, so I have a plus two from combat reflexes here. Mm-hmm. That so applies. this is going to level out to 13 either way. Okay, uh, cool. Oh, you're all a bunch of badasses. Okay, uh... I'm not sure what the Ox Fright is, but that's at least one failure. Looks like two successes and one failure. Two doggies. Doggo and Lord Fluffy Bottoms. Uh, that looks like probably two failures. And three slaves. Sorry, servants. Err, uh, three failures. Oh, it's worm. It's big worm. I think it's finally Doman's turn. Um, hmm. How high up? Uh, the dragon. Yes. Uh, it's only three meters off the ground. And it's got a size modifier of three. Sorry, I had my fingers on your pony. Is that legal? <laughs> In some states. I don't think there's bestiality laws here. When we get no deal Brexit, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> as long as that horse is an EU citizen. Full move maneuver. Um, yeah, full, that's my turn. Gotcha. Ulrich. I'm gonna... This one has the Stygian Iron Sword, by the way. I should point that out. I'm still Sorry. beating it on the head. Boop. Are you going for the skull? Yes. That hits, it looks like. Because uh, it's a minus seven to hit the skull normally, so but that would hit indeed. As long as he didn't dodge. I dodged. He did. Woo! Do not get my head. That's too much for a dodge. There we go. No, no, no. Uh, that's it. Just me. Sput. There's a dragon, but you don't care. Yeah, it's just a big bird. <laughs> did the crows move? Oh, the crows. It's just a big bird, says the guy who's immediately worried about the tiny bird. You should be. <laughs> they move into a swarm around Ulrig. Uh, a crow tornado appears around you, Ulrig. Uh oh. Cronado? Cronado. Cronado. <laughs> crow uh -oh. Magnum? Uh, they, that one's like swooping over the rock so it didn't quite reach you. But they're all kind of flocking just to you and Jakku there. Doman. Okay. Thank you for the reminder spot. No problem. I'm <laughs> gonna throw my thing. I'm gonna miss. Oh, and by the way, I we forgot this last couple turns. Um, this guy takes one damage, and this guy will have taken two more damage over time. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You need to get me one of them. Or no, two and two, but this dude's done. Ah, uh, he's done now. Yes. Right, so, yeah. so out of curiosity, uh, what kind of sword did you? <laughs> he shouts across the battlefield to the guy he hasn't seen fighting. Well, just like just the <laughs> demon swords, at least, because he's seen the other ones. Uh, the demon swords. Yeah. Uh, it's clearly Stygian iron. I'm pretty well, sure. Well, I was wondering, are they like two-handed, one-handed? 
pretty much two-handed bastard swords. Everyone's favourite. Perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll but keep that in mind. They are a bit unbalanced. Uh, nothing a little bit of blacksmith in can't fix. Orn, you're still stunned. And at this turn, it's time for people to lose one FP. Don't forget to move the cart. And the car kind of grinds to a halt as the front two ox both try and run in opposite directions while the back two carry on trying to move forward. And they all kind of in pain. And I think this Fuck is... A, they're just ox. A great time for a break. So... We will be right back in five minutes or so at the most.
and we're back. Minus a couple of people, but I'm sure they'll show up in time. Uh, so the book launches out of the car straight up. Um, spot, you'll see this. Sigmund, Leah sees it. You hear like a firework sound behind your Ulrich. I don't think fireworks exist. You hear the sound of a magic behind you. I hesitate mm -hmm. to say magic missile. <laughs> mm. uh, as the book just rockets up into the sky out of sight, it moves very fast. <laughs> Leaving a little glittery trail of pixie dust behind it. Uh, spot you just threw a potion, but it missed. Where did it land? Yeah, I got a shuck for scatter. Four yards. I'll, I'll let you roll it. Uh, two. And you were aiming at this guy. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Maybe. Is it a seven yard radius? It is seven yard radius. Oh, you scumbag. Is it the sleep spell again? Yeah. Radio. Slip bomb. I get gets one crew. The other one's too far away. Mm hmm. Well, roughly 12 crows, actually. A bit of aliens there, but show me the. Uh, Show me the ritual. Skill. Oh, give me. Go. No. 11 out of 16. Okay. Stesian Iron Demon versus. Uh, double check. Well, that's not enough. It gets him. Uh, definitely not enough. Gets the next one along. And that's still definitely not enough. Yep. Those all go sleepy time. Oh, the crows, though. Also go sleepy time. So this batch of crows here just drop to the ground. <laughs> Although, what path does this use? Path of mind. Path of mind. Uh, these They'd things... be path... Yeah, these things That's don't have death. minds, really. Oh, no. No, they do. They're imparted with very basic minds, and so it would work. Yep. Wrecked. Ah, uh, they're not just a purely Path of Undead spell. Mm-hmm. Kind of fall at your feet there, Ulrich. But it's finally Jakku's turn. All right. Uh, you made your fright check, didn't you? I did. Scumbag. That bunny is quick. That's the idea. Full move maneuver. Full Kill move maneuver. Tell the dragon! Okay, no, the dragon like. takes a flying step forwards. Which is... It actually is that far, about that far. And yeah, it's gonna breathe a cone of fire at the ox. Well, it's not fire. What am I saying? What am I saying? Let's see if it manages it first. I should show this to everyone as well, I suppose. That's what you're fighting. Well, I don't like it. Did it show up? Why won't it show up? Oh, because there's no skill set there. That... <laughs> Oh, 
a coal of black frost, icy dark shards that smoke in an eerie way, blast forth from its moor right at the ox. It encompasses all of them. Bye. I can't, I can't stop that. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Wrong character sheet. <coughs> it does 14 corrosion damage to each room. We an armor divisor at 2. Uh, they get HT checks at a minus 1. Is someone in an ox sheet right now? Nope. I'm getting there. Mark updates as red. God damn it. Wow, ox are sturdy. They've got a HT of 12, though. So, two are in pass, two are in fail. The two that failed. Oh, well, it'd be six fatigue damage each, let's say. Breeziness. So yet the oxes are not pleased with that. They scream in pain. And these guys over here are pretty much out of combat. He's just kind of... Although, mm, no. Here. This guy's got someone bearing down on him on horseback. He's going to take an all-out defense dodge. This one has not been hurt yet, though. He's going to turn and take a step and wait to see if Jakku gets close enough to it. Oh, it won't happen this turn, though. So he just takes all-out defense dodge. Uh, they all fell asleep. God damn it, Sigmund. So, the ox are dead, right? Uh, dying fast. They've got a lot of HP, but you do see uh, the skin crystallizing there and bits just, uh, what's the word, flaying off. And is Leah following me? Because we are not fucking with that dragon. Uh, Leah, make. A fright check. Er, that looks like probably a fail. At minus one. Well. Um. Which case I'm going to run back over here. With my move of six. Uh, and she got a thirteen on the fright check table. Which equates to acquire a new mental quirk. So she's actually not stunned. <clears throat> okay, if she's not stunned, uh, does she... Move she she would have run over here. Yeah. In which case, we're running even more over here. We are not dealing with that thing. Yeah, she, she'd be about... Yeah, okay. The rider starts running as far as he can. And Doman. Uh, okay, is it. Does it look like this guy is ready to jump? Uh, no, he, he's stood defensively. Oh, but yeah, I suppose ready to dive out of the way of your attack. Oop. Struggling with this movement. Don't worry about it. Can I continue moving, but swipe at him as I... Gotcha. Random location. Yes. One level of deceptive as with last time. Wow.
as well. Um, this guy takes his last bit of uh, noth nothingness. Radio. One level of deceptive, did you say? Yes. Yep, you hit that guy. Add one to this damage. And also give him his first of five nothing misses. <laughs> let's see. Seven. Ooh, dear. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. Location. Location. That could groin. Groin. <laughs> to the groin. Torso and groin are all I know. 1.5 times to the groin, correct? Same as regular. Uh -huh. So 1.5. So he blocks three, so four goes through, plus one. So six total. Right, yeah, no, because, yeah. Wait, blocks three, so four go through, because the seven is already plus one, so. Oh, yeah. The... Seven minus, mm -hmm. he said blocks two. How many, how many, how many did it block? Uh, it would have blocked three. Three, so yeah, four, so six damage total to the groin. Uh-huh. Plus Ouch. one from the uh, nothingness. Mm -hmm. Not quite enough to warrant a death check, Bree does not look good. All hacked up. Oh, I didn't want it at that number. I forget that you can't... It, because if you type minus a number in a bar, it'll take it all off. So you can't jump to a minus multiple. Be... Ah, I digest. Irrelevant. Good hits. And this guy, uh, he were hit in an arm as well, weren't he? Or were it a leg? Leg. Leg. He falls to his knee. To his right knee. Yep. His left leg's kind of messed up. Very messed up. And it's Ulrich's turn. I'd like to kill him. Would I, we uh... all? Well, uh, he's asleep, so I'm just basically going to put the axe above the neck oh. and just let gravity do the rest. Mm -hmm. It's minus five to swing at the neck, but if you telegraph it, you get a plus four. I'll do it, mostly because he's asleep. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's just minus one at the end? Mm -hmm. um, oh, minus I... two because there is size. Minus two, oh yeah. I think I see a packet. You still make it. He can't dodge. Show me damage. Boop. Oh, snap. Literally. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, I don't even want to. I forgot how, it, I forgot how much I loved axes. Like, they're so cheap, and the bonus you get for slashing is so fucking high. It's yeah. like plus four. Five for yep, a great well, axe, plus seven? Not plus seven, but... Uh, uh, he technically passes, but he's bleeding heavily. He still has his head? Uh, yeah. You cut that halfway through. Okay. Uh, That's it. 30 damage. It's a miracle that he's alive. <laughs> Wouldn't it be 40 damage, because neck damage is doubled for cutting? Uh, yeah, he, he's got 5 DR to the neck, and then uh, 15 doubled. Okay. Uh, but wow, just wow. <laughs> just beheading. Or halfway there. Spot. Uh, yeah. Uh, run away! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Orn, oh, I... I think you might have been AFK when I mentioned that the book flew straight up out of the wagon. I wouldn't even know that, though. Faster than anything you've ever seen. It'd probably still register, at least when you're de-stun. Was it at least on fire? Uh, only singed slightly. Damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry the book's so sturdy. And Spot is legit running away. On. Stunned. Yeah. Jakku. Oh, no. Crows swarm on you ever and start trying to peck at you. 
Uh, Ow. It's from behind, so you don't get a dodge and retreat, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't get any dodge error. Let's see. Crows. They might not be able to peck through your magical DR and other regular DR. This is technically, yeah, technically an area attack as 24-ish crows just swarm over you and start pecking. So it is a sort of, they are more of a group of crows rather than individual crows. Uh -huh. Each token represents a swarm of roughly 12. Oh, that was not explained. Apologies. Yeah, that's a little bit different. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like, these are swarms of crows. There's like 24 still so circling you and 12 asleep on the ground. Uh, on the bright side, I think Aubrey just learned a pretty cool new effect. The crow needle. <laughs> for a further song. Uh, I rolled that second one bad. First is three damage. Uh, what's your area, DR? Area, area. It's probably uh, at least one. I think you're safe from the first one. Uh huh. I'll just roll that second one so it works. Oh. Oh, it should be at least two. Remember that I have the my clothing plus two magical. Mhm. Mm I think two piercing damage goes through. So just okay. two damage. Oh, stupid birds! All over. They pecking at your flesh, and it is Jakku's turn. He's moving too far to swarm. Uh, but they're going to chase after him. They're all chasing after Jakku right now. That's what they've been told to do originally. Uh, you can attempt to dodge from this Jakku. I don't think it's even at a penalty because you fancy bunny, bunny eyes. You'd have to yep. dodge and retreat to dive out of it. But it's not a ranged attack, so you, you don't have to dive to the ground. Count that as a retreat? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, but I, I get my turn, right? Uh, yeah, sorry. Running, running fast. Gotcha. Oh, it can't move that far on its first turn. Sorry, it ends up there. Demons. Uh, let's see. On the nose for one and fine for the other. This one's gonna step back. Take another point of damage. Uh, this one up here takes a point of damage, does he not? The one I hit, yeah. On um, my turn, yeah. On my turn, the one that I recently hit takes one damage, and the other has done his, I believe. Yeah. That's not meant to be 14 plus 1. It's meant to be 14 minus 1, so... Just a note. He's not yet. No. Uh, where's the check? turn, step to here, wait for if your horse comes in range, he's going to swing at one of your horse's legs. Um, and it's Sigmund. Uh, Leah's right. running behind you still. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to move, like, right here. Not dealing with that drag. The situation has gone to shit. Radio. Uh, riders still sprinting forwards. Wait, who the fuck is that? 
<laughs> That's the person who was riding the dragon. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why'd he get off if the dragon was already closer than he is? He's holding the, uh... He's holding the road. Doman. New. Clippity cloppity. Does this involve a swingity sloppity? Clippity cloppity, get off my property. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a response to that that we need to know. Fuckity wuckity not to duckity. What's from the guy on the ground swinging at him? Oh, you know, he's on his knees. I'm guessing you can't reach him without, like, doing some kind of cowboy maneuver. So just a move. Also right-handed. Right -handed. Ah, yeah, no, you'd... that would be some fancy horse riding. <laughs> That's why I didn't bother to go and attack either of them, because, whoop, can't. Smart, smart man. Now come along with me and we'll take any stolen goods. Ulrich ever song. There's crows all over you, pecking at you. Ugh, pesky crows. I yes. really need this head for Spud. Hi! Minus two. Um, I'd just like to point out, Luke, you said he wouldn't be able to cancel it with the spell. Why do you? Why did you say that? Wouldn't be able to cancel what with the spell? The magic holding the swarm of crows together. Oh! Uh... Because the thing is that it can be cast as an act of defense, but that's just a thing you can do with those sorts of spells. Yeah. It's he not he just did. He didn't get a. He didn't get an act of defense because they approached him from behind. No, no, no. But it's just a thing you can do with that spell. It's that sort of effect can be done as act of defense, but it's not part of the spell that it is an act of defense. Uh huh. That, that's what I thought earlier. So it could technically be used to destroy, what, any one yes. magical spell? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that would include all the crows? Uh, probably, yeah. If if you beat them in the margin, rule of 16, it would affect huh. one full swarm of crows. That's still 70 energy. That I'm destroying out of that spell. Not sure if that's equivalent to one swarm. Mm, yeah, that'd, that'd get one swarm. Not worth it. I'm still one to head for spots, so I would like to retrieve it if I can. Uh huh. Uh, After I hit it. That's you... same on the neck. Okay, yeah, you had a bit more of a penalty because of shock from the crows pecking you. Okay, do I need to roll HD or something? No, uh, you're fine, just damage. Okay. That would be... 30? It comes out at 20, because there is DR. Mm -hmm. But that's still a lot. He's versus this now. Oh, he made it again! <laughs> is the head still attached? The head's still... Mm, oh no, that's... That's enough now. Yeah, the head comes off. You've dealt enough crippling total. Okay. To accumulate enough to dismember it, so it just pops off. Without a head, he cannot live, and thus dies. He can't. No head. Can't eat. Starve to death. Uh, he's gonna smile and say, "One more for Spot Collection." <laughs> Spot, you might hear your name get said. One more from collection. I mean, sure, if you kill the dragon, then I can probably pick it up and add it to my collection. Otherwise, it's gonna it's gonna rot there in the sun. Out of character, one head at a time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, people yeah, at the edge of this map, by the way, uh, like maybe. 10 to 20 meters away now. But go on, sorry, Spot. Yeah, Spot's running away and uh, his neck retreat. Aliens. Mucho aliens. Sorry. <laughs> he retreats on. I, I think you're still stunned, aren't you? 
Mm-hmm. Uh, but you went deaf now. Um, mm. Um, mm. Okay, the oxes are just screaming in pain and trying to break free of the wagon, which actually it will. But the oxes haven't really got the energy to move. Jakku Bani, or crows, even. Mm, those ones can't reach you. But two crows try to swarm over you, or two swarms of crows. I'm pretty sure you still technically saw them come in. It's counted as a runaround attack. Just a minus two. Uh, minus two, so this is versus sixteen. You're fine, and it's your turn. Bam! Ever, you don't take any damage. They can't get through your armor. Ha ha! Buffs. <laughs> the wyvern flaps its wings and comes in and lands right here. <laughs> Fuck. Wings raised, they stretch slightly further than this token, I'm pretty sure. Only slightly. That's like its wings. Its body is about this long. But it doesn't technically take up all this space. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's, it's just going to land there. Uh, very few demons are capable of doing much. I don't want that button. I want this. The targets are 14. Uh, both pass. This one's... going to take a full movement over this way. Uh, rest are asleep. This one's going to take a full movement over this way. Sigmund. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it landed right next to you. That's next to my daughter. It's looking at your daughter. It's on the ground, right? Yeah. Hi, Sigmund. Well, ain't nobody gonna fuck with his daughter. Does he recognize... Like, something in a look it's giving her? Fair point. Do I do I recognize anything? Is it like a hungry look? Uh, roll me. Have you got animal empathy? Is it empathy? the look that every single other person has given his daughter if they've had any magical talent? <laughs> <laughs> um, roll me IQ, please. Straight up, it comes out at, with the bonuses from how many times you've seen this look from... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that dragon seems to be asking for your daughter's hand in marriage, it seems. <laughs> Better kill it quick. Exactly. <laughs> Wigging for that throat and an eye. Uh, plus three for size. Still a nine. Still a nine. Oh, why'd I ask you to roll intelligence? This, that would have been your sword swing. Missed anyways. Good. Thank you for that. Um, the rider starts swinging his flail as he runs forward. Catch that in your peripherals, Jacko. 
I feel like uh, oh, him. chasing down a rabbit right now. Yeah, well, I was trying to catch the dragon, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. Wow, I, I'm Jakku's chasing the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Doman. Um... I don't know why that just came into my head. <laughs> the fucking radio stations were playing the final countdown for Brexit Day yesterday. It, it was infuriating. But the lyrics are kind of perfectly matched. We're leaving together. <laughs> we're not, though. Please, God, let us not. Full move maneuver. Clippity. Clockity. Suck on my... Get off my property. Nobbity. That were it. Ulrich. Covered in crows. Uh, to be able to pick up the sword in the head, that would be two turns or three turns? Uh, uh, Neil, pick up an item, or Neil, pick up two items? Uh, three turns. Okay, I kneel, and then my turn. Roydio. Spot. A dragon just landed in front of you. Bird don't look interested yeah. in you. Did the bird stop pecking? Uh, uh I already pecked this turn. Ah. Uh, I kind of moved birds to the top of the round. Oh, so a turns. couple. So that one guy standing up in the up left takes one more damage. Oh, correct. Wait, top top left. He's dead, bruh. Yeah. Oh, he died. Cool. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> uh, something vital corroded away and he died of shock or some such nonsense some such nonsense like that I don't know Obscuro Coxidaeus Cornucopioides uh, all out the fears <laughs> Dodge. gotcha yeah <laughs> Orn are you still stunned Yeah, until turn 15. Turn 15, wow. Uh, turn 14. If we, It wouldn't be as bad as if the never-ending battle. It's okay. Sorry. There's a lot of stuff happening. Jaku? Right? Uh, I think we're waiting on... Mm -hmm. I just did a bit of crow go. damage. Oh, the crows are invisible to us, The uh, their turns. Oh, I don't think I'm even getting them a turn. That would explain it. Uh, you can only actually dodge and retreat from one of these, Jakku. Because the other two are going to wait until the first swarm attacks. Uh, Everoth, you take one damage from Crow's pecking. Ow. Jakku, you make it out of the way of the first swarm of crows. I don't know which way you go. Oh, huh. guess I don't. Kind of this way. No, you, you can dodge and retreat out of that. These two were just waiting for you to do that, and you do need to move a hex. We dodge and retreat. I didn't dodge and retreat, I just dodged. Uh, oh, you, you can't dodge a swarm attack. Oh. It's like an area effect. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So they can move and then move again to do their attack? Uh, well, they technically wouldn't have moved, I suppose. But you were still in range for them to wait until you dodged and retreated one attack before the other two swarms moved in. Uh, one and four damage. Large area, whatever your armor is for that. 
Uh, so I take two damage. And it's your turn now. Oh, man. Jacko, you're up. Uh, Jacko, we can't hear if you're talking. Not talking. Ah. Looks like you ran forward behind the flail swinger. Yeah, we might as well. He has a flail now. Uh-huh. He readied it after he stepped off the dragon. <laughs> so... What's his size modifier? Just one regular? Just, just regular zero. zero. So this is at a plus one. So... Will... Or... So this is... This is Versa 9. Uh huh. Me slash. Oh, wow. So it was run around and two deceptive. Run around and two deceptives. Wow. Oh, you've hit. Oh, shit. I was going to make a power blow. Oh, uh, you sounded sincere in your oh shit. I'm going to allow it. Okay, thank you. All right. 16 coming, cutting damage to the knee. Oh, leg cut off at the knee. Maybe? Actually, twice required to cripple to dismember. Yeah, leg cut off at the knee. Beautiful. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Ugh. Drops to the ground. Uh, roll 1d6, please. 1 to 3 for left leg. Left Unless, leg. Oh, wait, which leg did you go for? I mean, whichever one would be closer, honestly, so yeah, the one left, on left leg this anyway. side. Yeah. The wyvern takes a step forward. And... I'm pretty sure you get a bonus to grapple things that are smaller than you, don't you? Or is it a bonus? I feel I like thought it... it was a bonus to hold on, but it was harder to grab. If if you're bigger and you're trying to grab something, and your size is above you, you do get a bonus. Uh -huh. Not a crit. Uh, let's see if Leah can dodge. She'd probably make this feverish, I imagine, would she not? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I, I don't know if you've all ever chased oh, that before, but I'm... Son of a shit. Ah, grabby, grab, grab. Oh, you've been my... calling it a wyvern. Do you mean by that that it only has two limbs? Uh, yeah. So it's, so just... it's very imbalanced right now. A little bit, yeah. It's also a wyvern. It doesn't give a fuck. Um, You're thinking of badgers. <laughs> <laughs> Full move forward. Uh, target number is 14. 
is awake, but scared. He went this way. Um, Sigmund. It's got its weird duck-like dragon foot wrapped around your daughter. Cutting for its throat, son of a bitch. There's a plus two size? Uh, plus three size. Alright, and it's minus three for each consecutive attack with the weapon master. <laughs> You're going for a rapid strike. Yep. Minus three. I'm fine with that, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll take two swipes at the throat here. Yeah, we'll take two swipes to the throat here uh, with targeted attack. So it should be 17 minus 3 plus 2 if minus that's the size, 2. You mean so plus it's going to be 14, yeah. But it's plus 3. Yeah, plus 3 for size. It's a big boy. 20, 20 minus 3, 17 minus 2, 15, 15 plus... Yeah, yeah, okay. So 15, then, so this is both at a minus 2. Good luck. First potential hit, second potential hit. It's going to attempt to dodge and retreat on them both. Wouldn't that break the grapple? Uh, she is mm -hmm. within its weight to be uh, counted as encumbrance. Is it going to try to parry with Leah? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> no, it looks like dodges. No, it, it dodges by taking off into the air just one meter. There's like a blaster air on top of your cap there. Uh, and in your flowing undercut, they are um, six. So <laughs> neither hit and it's flying off? Neither hit and it is taken off. Uh, I don't like that. The rider's gonna crawl here and. It's gonna turn and hiss and take a swing with a flail. These things were never started to have a flail. Don't look like they were ever fucking started at all. Is your penalty like minus four? Uh, did you roll for consciousness? To be on. He's only at. Mm, he only took the one attack, which put him at half. Oh, half, okay. Or yeah. one third. Half. Yeah, third is for, like, extremities, I believe. Yeah, this would... Yeah, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, Alright, so it's trying to swing his flail. It's normally got a skill of four to, uh, 16, so this is probably versus a 12. <clears throat> Potential success. Uh, what's the base penalty to defend against a flail? Uh, what are they trying to use? It's only for parry, I believe, yeah, which Shaku only... never does. Fair dues. Let me check right here for you. I'm guessing Jacko will be fine. Uh, to block is a Ooh. minus two, to parry is a Ooh, minus two. There you go, that's, that's lucky for you there, Luke. That is. Uh, I think you've already now had a retreat this turn, right? Dodge. He's now Not 19. this turn. From the crows? You didn't attack me with crows. Like, well, you did, but then I went. Like, you attack... The, the crows go before me, and then it gets to my turn. Gotcha. Correct. Okay, so... Actually, that is... Yes... I'm pretty sure you'd have had to declare it feverish before the acrobatics check as well. Okay, so... Oh! I was looking at my... I, I, I forgot to... I, when I took that two damage, instead of uh, marking down that I am at... 8 HP currently, I marked that I am at 2 HP and it... Yeah, fucked wheel your dodges. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch out for All that right. one. Just 
looking around the battlefield. <laughs> that got me a girl. I'm I'm fine, you know. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, how how did we get so far away? It's like right next to him. He crawled away, and then you dodged and retreated. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Note that crawling takes up your whole movement on the ground. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. So. It, whatever. He's magic. For that round only. <laughs> Wee horsey ride. Clippity clippity. This ain't your property. Ulrig. Covered in birds. I already gave you damage this turn, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Ulrig? Muted? Question mark? Yes, muted, sorry. I was saying that I will just like to pick up the head and end my turn. Uh, oh, next turn okay. I'm going to pick up the sword. Uh, you can put, you grab the head and the sword actually. So they're both okay. in your hands and then uh, it's a free action to, or well you can step out of crouch as part of your move. Okay, I'll step out of crouch then and put both items in my back. That'll probably take an extra turn. You can just oh, stuff, sorry. Uh, you stuff the I, head in your bag. Yeah. Sword probably Either. won't fit. Okay, I'll stuff just the head whenever I can. Either in this turn or the next. But yes, I'll go with that. Uh -huh. Stand up, head in bag, spot. Uh, let me try a fast draw. Don't you do it, you scumbag. Oh, that gust of wind. Roll me a strength check to hold your tent on, please. Uh, oh. oh, okay. And what spot is it? the Roll a strength check, you said? Uh, nice. Only for spot. You don't need to keep a tent over you to stop from dying from sunlight. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Ah, uh, you're holding on to it. Well, he will still die, but... Much slower death of Mel Melma. And then are we all <laughs> Aliens! Oh my god, more aliens. It's so alien y tonight. Is it Jair? Is he in the wires? These aliens always here. They've gone. I think you missed me asking if it were Jair. If it what? If it were Mr. Bolsonaro. Oh. But it looks like you're holding onto your cover barely, and you've fast drawn a potion. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna aim the potion uh, at the dragon. You aim at the or dragon? Wire. Yeah. Okay. On. Uh, you're recovering from stun. I'll allow it. You've this is the last turn. You've recovered from stun on. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, I still think um, the book is there, so I'm going to pick up the flaming sheet. Okay, there's no sign of the book. I'm just continuing off what I did, was doing beforehand. And there's quite a bit of fire in the cart right now. I, I, I'm going to play this last round of stun like I okay. just continued on. So I pick up the sheet, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I apologize. I apologize profusely. Jakku. One-legged flailsman in on the floor in front of you. Crows flapping at you. Oh, they should have moved. All crows should have done shit. Uh, same dealio again, Jakku. So, you, would you just take it? Or would you attempt to dodge one of them? I don't know. Make your attacks. All right, let's see. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'll go for I'll go for that, and I'll just put a crow tornado around you. Uh... Then they are waiting to move one step into 
uh, any hex you enter that's within so many. Yeah, and it's your turn. Crow Tornado. Crow Tornado. I am gonna. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I got an idea. I got an idea. So. Oh, it's vigorous. Damn it. Just no. All right, we're starting right here. Whirlwind attack. That one hits. And then we're going here. I uh, don't think you technically need to roll. No? No, but uh, because it's a whirlwind, it's a bit special. But you you managed the first one at least. And yeah, you take out a crow from each group. Three crows dropped with a whirlwind attack. Sliced in half, head off one of them. And then... Another one straight in half, but in a different angle. You actually uh, got like four crows. Average of 1.3 crows. Is, is that all that happens? I don't even roll damage? It just... Yeah, no. You can roll damage if you want, but it'll only amount to one HP. Due to the nature of a swarm. Uh, why it really kind of sucks that I can't, like, try to make more damage done to the swarm. Like, there's a bunch of them. Like, if you'd have succeeded easier. at power blow, I might have been nice and let you take out a couple from each swarm. You could do rapid strike. That would be the better equivalent. Ah, uh, yeah, rapid strike could sort you out. Thanks for the tip there, Foagni. Just noticed. Uh, but yeah, the wyvern is flying off. Flying off fast. With? Leah. It goes northwest at uh, 14. Yeah, it moves 14 this turn. Oh crap, you thought it was about the book, but it, was it actually about her? Yeah, uh, it was kind of about both, but the book escaped all of you. But it's Demon's turns. Uh, he's, I think he's going to retreat. Yeah, that seems good. It looks like a good option, good time to retreat. Maybe he can help his friend. Sigmund? So how how... How far up is the drag? Uh, it's still only uh, at ground level. Kind of just above the ground. But 14 yards to your north. Should I just move everyone 14 yards to the south of this map? You'll mess up the rocks. Uh, I can so just grab just... Doka. Oh, but yeah, never mind. Ah, God, okay, all right. So That's your daughter, it's, Sigmund. Yeah, it's, it's snatched my daughter, and it's flying away. Watch as she returns to us in a couple days with, like, wyvern hide. <laughs> I'm going to move up here. It's off the map, though, isn't it? It's, like, 20-something away. Uh, 14. It's 14 away. I can't run that far. But do you start? Is your first instinct to start running after it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what else is the overprotective father supposed to do? What else, indeed? Uh, the rider. 
I don't even know what his plan is at the minute. His job's done. He's just going to observe. Doman. Oh, shit. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, let's see, he is uh, lying down, which puts me at minus four because of him lying down to. Uh huh. Is he, wait, is he even looking at me or no? No. Did I come up from behind him? Yeah, uh, he's not aware of you attacking him at all. Telegraphed yeah. to offset that. To the 14. Uh, the 14 on the hit location table is left leg. Isn't that already gone? Uh, yes, it is. Like below the knee. Twelve then. Uh which is the left arm. Okay, he I hope he's uh right handed. And right leg. Add one hey, damage. What do you this. call what do you God <laughs> What do you so call a man with no arms and no legs who rides a dragon? We we I, don't go I... in this route, James. <laughs> This guy, though, won't be riding any dragons for a while, I don't think. Uh, so, seven cutting damage yep. to the left arm turns it to four, becomes six. Back to six. Plus one corrosion. Seven cripples the left arm. It's all messed up and limp. You can see the bone and the gristle. Um, Gristle. 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 Gristle's delicious. It's good for you. Get it in your belly right now. But no, he no look good. He no look good at all. Ulrich. I... Did I give you bird damage? Is there even birds on you right now? I don't think you have... Uh, Yeah, three hordes, and you haven't done the damage this round. Only the one. One of the hordes is asleep. Don't want sleeping hordes. Oh, that looks like two damage. Two damage, okay. Pecking, pulling out your fur. One of them. Uh, that hurts. One of them got your nipple. Ah, the bastard. Proper purple nipple situation going on. Uh, your turn. Is Orn wounded or just stunned? Uh, stunned, but she seems. Oh, uh, she's in a wagon that's on fire right now. You can't see oh, I her. Thought, one, I don't I, think. I thought I. Uh, okay, so I cannot see her, but I can see. Just Sigmund running away, right after something. Uh, yes, yeah, Sigmund after running the big away. Fucking dragon with his daughter. Yeah. Spots. Yeah, he missed all that, so he's just gonna turn and gonna look back and kind of wonder what the hell did he miss? Then? And he's roll right. me vision. Uh, Roll vision to see the big fucking dragon. It's technically a plus five nope. to see Leah. The cart is on the way, apparently. No, you you can see the that it's holding fire. Leah. You'd be at okay. a plus eight to see the dragon and a plus five to see Leah. Okay, so see the dragon to the fire at the. Oh, so that was. What you was... Those guys that were running that way and now uh -huh. are kind of running more that way. The dogs included. Sorry, Lord Fluffy okay. Bottoms. Uh, Spot is just there standing. Uh, his turn's coming up. And he would. He's got a potion in his hand, and he was looking at the dragon before it flew away. Okay. Uh, if I turn that way, I can still move, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Normal... Mm -hmm. You can take your full move if you want. Okay. Spot. Okay, I got a one chance at this. Turn to face where the dragon's going. Yep, it's yeah. uh, 
it, it is 14 meters away from you. I dig a step and I throw the I throw the grenade at him. Mm -hmm. What does improved magic resistance do? Anyone know off the top of their head? It gives you the bonus to resist spells without hindering your own magic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the size modifier? Two? Uh, three. Three. Okay. Uh, so minus five for distance. Plus three, plus one for Amy. So it's a minus one. Don't you do it. He did it. It's in its back. It doesn't get a dodge. Smash. Smash. Spot saves the day again. Quick contest yeah. time. Possibly. Oh, oh, God. Rule of 16 applies incredibly in this because... Although, maybe... Yeah, uh... No, actually, no, it won't, because it exceeds. Ah. I, I'm going to call for luck here. Ooh, I hate you. I hate you so much, Spot. <laughs> Eight. Yeah. <sighs> Success by ten there. Or by uh, eight. By eight, then, because <gasps> of rule of ten. Or sixteen. Well, rule of sixteen oh. didn't apply, because this thing's target 18. number is also oh. eighteen. Yeah, but a tie hit. And it goes to the defender. Yeah. Woo! Baby! Spot, did you ever make that uh, speed potion? Uh, but, 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 but. Uh, what about the speed potion? Leah did you ever make it? Roll a one. <laughs> what kind of potion was that? Another sleeping one? Yeah, it was. Yeah, but it's, it's designed not to do allies, remember? Yeah. Oh, so it, it won't affect me. Leah. It won't. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. That could have been a, a sweet relief there. Well, uh, thank you, Dice Laser God of Roll20. <laughs> All right, do I see this? Oh, you see this. Oh, yeah. Your vision's great. I don't hear any of it. Um. All right. Uh and then I will yell at Spot, Speed me! Speed me! As loud as I can, because I, I can't hear myself. I, like, scream it. She screams it, alright. Turn 16. Crows swarm. Oh, um... No. No, I think crows start flying off overhead. Yeah. That one moved a bit further than it's meant to. Uh, I kind of feel like these ones would have another peck at Jakku, though. <laughs> no, that's my bias creeping in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Although you, you did attack them. So they might be fighting for the life now. Well, they're free to fly the fuck off. They're not oh. fighting for their lives. They can just leave. They can just leave. Uh, yeah, they, they're leaving. They can't make their mind up. They take one pot shot as they leave. And that probably don't get through your area, dear. No. And it's your turn. The guy in front here has got one leg and one arm. I'll make an all-out determined attack, and I am going to stab him in the vitals. right -o. Since he can't really retreat or go anywhere, I guess I might as well... Nah, we'll just go all-out determined for the vitals. Is he wearing armor? Uh, yeah. yes. Yes. 
successful power blow. He's currently technically at that much HP. What sort of armor is, I think, the question that needs to be asked? A uh, helmet, mail, and plate. It's plated mail, I suppose is how you describe it. Very fantasy. Mail, uh, you... cowl, with a helmet over it? No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Are you trying mail to talk attached about, like, to the helmet? A, yeah. a mail coif with a... Hold up, I know the, I know the term. So... Mail dangles down from the helmet and goes over the arms, but the chest is made of segments of uh, steel plate. A, a bassinet, you mean? Yeah. Does it usually have like a coif over it with a bassinet with like a nose guard? Well, then I am chinking the armoring in the vitals on that chest with the steel plate. Uh, his target number for this is a six. And he fails. Uh, ignores exterior DR. So that ends up doing 30 damage to him. And he also takes a point of corrosion damage, correct, at some point? Come my turn. Come your turn. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So, first off, there is this. Straight up. Which fails. <laughs> you stab him right in the heart. <coughs> but he's too late. Wyvern moves uh, roughly 20 away from you and two up into the air. Demons are going to attempt to retreat. There's only two of them. He's running towards his mate. He's trying to shuffle forwards. Oh no, he falls down unconscious. Sigmund. <laughs> what could he do? Running after is like well, <laughs> he's just running. That's all he can do. Just running, chasing after that dragon. I'll never catch the dragon. Uh, the rider is dead. Dolan. There are stronger methods he could use to catch the dragon. And what's the so... point? Doman can kind of see a dragon flying away on the distance to the left. Yeah. Uh, what's the distance there? You could roll and me. Unfortunately, this guy's totally dead. Uh, range of fifty. But he'd be going too. back there anyway. So roll me a vision check at plus two to see Leah. Um, in that case, I make it. Yeah, you, you see the dragon is indeed less than 100 meters away and carrying that young girl from the back of the cart. Ploppity fucking ploppity. <laughs> uh he's going to continue walking with the rest as he just is basically astonished that there was a dragon and he didn't saw it. Uh, blaming it on the he, crows. He so. did see it, he just look, looked away by the time it got close. Yeah. He, he was too bothered by the crows to actually turn around and get a look at his majesty and remember it for later. And he missed it! You see it How now. could he miss it? It's less than 100 meters away. You, you're picking out fine detail. Oh, okay, then he is looking at the majesty of this <laughs> weather, and he's like, ah, oh, mostly because he hasn't realized that he has, uh, yeah, and he's like, ah, oh, I wish I could paint this out. Maybe on my axe? Yeah, it looks very memorable. Spot. Um, let's try to grab the potion. The aliens are back uh. again. Oh, great success. Burb. Potion in the hand. 
Ay, ay, ay. Uh, yeah, uh, I grab one of the one of the speed potions and I hold it out. Do I have to drink this or can I run into it? No, I have to drink it. Okay. Remind me of the speed potions. Sorry? Orn had asked for speed potions before, correct? Yeah, I made one like way back when. when they boost your move. Yeah. Okay. Rodeo. Yeah. He's holding out a speed potion. Orn. Alright. Well, I'm going to just take a, a move to get there. And can I try to do an animal handling? At the same time, or is that a separate maneuver? Uh, uh, what kind of animal handling are you hoping to do? I wanted to yell, drop it in that language for dragon. Uh, in, in, in the demon language. I, I don't think the dragon's going to give a fuck. I, it's worth a shot. Yeah, yeah, like, no, it's worth it's, a shot for sure. Handling, it's uh, IQ minus five. I just looked it up because I'm not specialized in dragon. You it, can do it. it E even if it's it not worth a, a shot, it is a hysterical thing to think about because the little ball is going. First off, roll me HT. Well, well even then, to if he shout drops that it or it drops it, how high up is Leo? Nope. Okay, so oh. it's horse, but it's still fairly loud. It might hear it. And then show me the animal handling roll. By two. Mm. I mean, I tried to mimic that guy's voice as much as possible if I heard him at all. Or, you know, I've, I've heard demons before. Yeah, I'm just... It's up to you. It's I don't know how you want to handle that. Uh, animal handling is on page 175. Yeah. Posted the uh, relevant section of the rules as well. Mm -hmm. It would be familiar with her if she's mimicking the guy. Have you got mimicry? Uh, that is a skill. I probably do not. It's IQ what? Mimicry. Hard, probably. Uh, and he's got a. Might do fold off act as well. IQ minus six and others. Speech. Acting minus six or linguistics minus four. If you're trying to mimic a specific person, roll it an additional minus three. Quick contest against IQ. Alright, so wait, what was... Wait, linguistics what? minus seven or acting minus nine. Uh... But it's a quick contest against the other guy's IQ. I mean, what's his IQ? Because that would matter. We don't know. Yeah. It doesn't matter until it's rolled, really. It's well, not... I'll go linguistics minus seven. Probably not going to get this, but it is definitely worth a try. Nope. Oh, so close. Ooh, tie. Goes oh, to the defender. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it. it does kind of turn its head a bit. You think maybe. It's not really uh, was that my whole turn, or can I also grab the thing you, that's held out in front of me? You grab the potion as well. Okay. Uh, these have got enhanced move as well, actually, so they can move very far. Over here. Oh, roll 20 lag, you're back. It's almost time for a break, which means roll 20 will get refreshed anyway. Uh, yeah, the crows are all... I think it might be time to end turn order, Jakku. Anything ah. in particular you're doing? Uh, I mean, I'm just kind of starting to run after the the dragon. Gotcha. It moves uh, another three up and another 20 ahead.
demons uh well it's just this guy in fact uh can anyone see over here where i just pinged they got eyes on this fella right here yeah yes yep uh, everyone make a vision check please at penalties for range minus uh the penalty for 30 minus 5 control straight minus up 7 i right. make it yeah no he straight disappears to you Ulrich, but you still see him creeping around over there uh on but he does seem to be making a a bit of a retreat maneuver. But it's only Orn that sees him. Uh, Jakku, you could do a hearing instead. In fact, no, you couldn't. He's too far for that, unfortunately. Although you might crit success, so, you know. It's more like you have to succeed by about f five at that range. Six. Oh, you rolled a fifteen. So wait, failure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sigmund, are you still chasing that dragon? Yeah. So it's. So how far have you moved now? Twenty. I'm guessing oh, six, seven, seven. It's feasible. Yeah. Like yeah, it'd be six times three, so eighteen at this point. Yeah. Sprinting, it'd be like twenty or so. Yeah. It's currently at 50 away from you. Well, no, it's, it's it only... 50? It, it's moved 50 since it set off now, yeah. <laughs> it moves 20, you move 5? 6 to 8 at a sprint. Don't know how long you can keep that up, Doman. How fast's your pony? If it's carrying him, it can't end up going at a decent speed. And if it doesn't have him, then what's the point? Mm-hmm. Already you still just wondering at the majesty of that dragon? Well, after I got for a second, I want to approach to uh, spot and give him the new head. I got you this. <laughs> spot. Owen just took the potion off you. Mm-hmm. I want another head. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm going to say to him, get my box and kind of point behind me. Or actually, I can't point because I, in one hand, I have a speed potion. In the other, I have a flaming sheet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'll drink it. How, but I'll buy before I drink it. I will say, get my box. He knows what I'm talking about. You best hope he does. <laughs> Do what? It's, it's the only box that it's, you know, it's my box. It's it's the box that in the cart that's mine. Okay. That really clears things up. <laughs> uh, what does the speed potion do? It's a uh, plus three, the basic move, or up to 30%, whichever is lower. So I'm not going to I'm not going to catch up to that thing, but I can try. If you, yeah, unless you've got enhanced move, it's still twice as fast as you. More than. And I think that's a great time for a break before we come back for the last segment. Uh, or it'd be a great cliffhanger. Player's decision. Continue. One vote for continue. Five. I would like to even a little bit of something. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah, you missed out on a lot. Just a little it's bit been... longer, yeah, because I don't want a combat to take up the entirety of everything. Oh. Yeah, let's continue. We will be right back in five minutes.
Yep, I'm here. We're back. Uh, the dragon, the wyvern, apologies, is flapping off into the distance to the northwest. Everyone's kind of chasing it. On you catch up, we Sigmund. It's still just getting further and further away. It, it gets like 10 meters further away from you every second. Jakku, are then you Then I'll do an upward angle then. So I can keep an eye on it. Radio, flying up. Well, not straight up, but at a, you know, an angle. Mm -hmm. That does also seem to be what the dragon's been doing slightly. But you can kind of, you end up at least matching its height without losing too much behind it. Uh, bah, bah, bah. How long are you all following it for? Give me HT checks, please, if you're moving at sprinting speed after 12 seconds. I think it's 12 seconds. Might be after HT seconds. No FP loss yet. You keep going. Okay. It's heading for the mountains. Can we get a different... Okay, thank you. I don't know if Foe's still watching, but thanks for the tip. We've got it on now. I think... I think if, uh... So, so someone probably mentions that it's got Leah, right? Uh, vision check plus two to see that it's got Leah. Yeah, even if no one's straight mentioning it. But ev you do notice that everyone is chasing a dragon just about. Okay, yeah. And, chasing the dragon. And spotting it. Y yeah. Leah's in its claw. Claws. You know, the problem tightly. with chasing the dragon is you never catch that first high. Yeah. Ain't gonna stop Sigmund, though. He's gonna run <laughs> until he is about... I don't know, he literally drops dead with exhaustion. <laughs> I, I feel like you you go all the way to the trees here. You run until it gets dark. Is what it's sounding like. Mm -hmm. Which what mountains could he do? To? Uh, it's heading west. Northwesty. Just straight for the range. But it's... It's heading west, northwest, you can tell. So it's definitely not going for the closest peaks. It's heading for probably somewhere in the center of the range. I I feel like at some point Jaku's like, this is futile. And he just like stops. Varth, have you a potion that can locate her? Not on hand, no. Uh, uh, uh. But you could re prepare one. I think so. Do so. By the way, Luke, I'm not stopping. I'm going to slow down, but I'm going to... Anytime I lose sight of the dragon, I'm going to speed up again. Uh, did any of the ones that stopped look wounded? Aside from me? Or again, I'm the only one. <laughs> um... More HT checks, please, on. Uh, vision or anything? Uh, well, you, you say you're not stopping, actually, so... Just give me a hiking check, please. Flight for you, I think it's called. Defaults to HT. Okay. Uh, you made it at minus four. Let me just check the default quickly. Oh, 
hiking. Yeah, it's HT minus five. Uh, so what's your move? Uh, what was the bonus there? But plus three or thirty so... percent, whichever's worse. Correct. Yeah. Oh crap! My air movement is way quicker than I've been doing. Uh, apparently, the sheet automatically did the thing for me. Uh, I'm moving at. Um, but doesn't 13. your flight replace no legs? In which case, it's just basic move. I think so. Let me double check. But uh, eight or thirteen, or I, but uh, let me just double check flight. Have you got enhanced move? No, I do not. Do you have no legs? Flight. I do have no legs. At zero points. Um, great. They so just moved everything around. But what did you say your normal move were? No legs, aerial. Yeah, zero. Okay, so yeah, it's just your base move. What's your base move? Five. So it's eight. Uh, six. Yeah, because it's... Uh, uh, I'll round it up, so seven. So then eight, because sprinting. N no, because the potion. The potion no, does no. three or thirty percent, whichever's worse. So in this case, it's thirty oh. percent. So then eight because of your sprinting, which gives it plus one. So how many FP do I have? Uh, this is a... Um, if if you sprint all the way, you lose FP after like 10 minutes. And well, that's how I did the hiking check. I have to stop entirely. Yeah. So I were doing this at longer range. So... Doo -doo -doo -doo. If you go for like eight hours without stopping, which you'll probably not manage seeing as you failed the hiking check. You probably managed six to seven hours without stopping. You could do 112 knobs. If the dragon does the same, we out stopping. In... Yeah, I'm keeping out for it the entire time. Mm -hmm. It would cover 352 knobs. Yeah, I mean, at some point, even you lose sight of it. Yeah, but it does it do that? Uh, is the question. So how far do you end up going? I go until I can't go no more. Trying to keep it in sight. Do you need visions? Uh, yeah. And you go for six hours. The sun's setting at five and you can still see the dragon ahead of you. Oh, you could see that it went into these mountains. Those ones specifically? Yeah. As in this mountain. But give me the vision. Another oh, yeah. one? No, no, I had not seen that one yet. So yeah, that mountain near the top. And it stops there after what, like three hours flying. After three hours, you'd be like, what there? Yeah, you, you just managed to see that it goes to that mountain and stops. And you are here right now, Orn. Six hours later. All right, well, then these guys have other stuff to do. Yep. How long are you running for, Sigmund? Again, until my legs just give out. Uh, so you legit sprint it like a madman. Think mad. harder, not smarter. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is he gonna do right now? He's a father whose daughter was just snatched right in front of him. I don't okay. think thinking smart is on his to-do list right now. <laughs> you just did the soft padding of rabbit slippers stop next to you. Doesn't even fucking care. And you still run. Somewhat, no, you, you were on the ground at zero okay. FP, I'm afraid, son. <laughs> okay, that's fair, yeah, that's definitely yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, and you're at the two trees, actually. You made it that far. I'll give it to you. That's impressive. You you ran like twenty knobs full pace. You ran a marathon, cross country. Half. Half marathon. My apologies. In full gear, no less. Probably we are sword out the whole time, screaming he does, Leah. He does travel fairly light, all things considered. <laughs> Maybe you made it a bit. A further. half marathon is twenty-one knobs. Uh, so not even. Still got some of those fancy uh, bibs with a number. But yeah, as I said, cinematically, you'd make it about to the trees. The two trees. Okay. Worse for me. Yeah, I, I, I think, like, we probably, I chase it, like, over the next rolling hill, and then we get into the valley, and, like, I lose sight of it again. Like, we get back up to the top, and I'm, like, squinting, like, this is pointless. And, yeah, like, I, like, sit down and clean the sword off, drink some water, and eat a pel uh, pellet. Mm -hmm. How's the cart looking? A uh, car is looking not good. The part that, you know, harnesses the ox together is completely disintegrated, and the ox have scattered. You can see three of them, but one of them has hurried away a bit further. They weren't that hurt, it looks like, but they have got... They are bleeding. There are open wounds on all of them. And things on the very outside of the cart, like that had just... The last things placed in there were just... shunted out? Yeah, quite a lot fell out. Right, okay. Doman will gather up some grain... Bags of grain he had. Right here. Did it burn? Uh, it, it's currently burning. The... The wagon is, you know, like uh, 10 meters down the road from you on fire. And the stuff that got shunted out by the book farting is at your feet. Oh, I asked you to get my box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she asked you to get something. A box. There are three boxes on the floor in front of you. <laughs> oh, I'll get all of them. <laughs> Mine is all cute. One of them. Bedazzled. Water room's bedazzled. Do you read Methan? Yes. It's probably got, like, property of Orn and gemstones on it. <laughs> okay, so that's the one. Maybe. You best know. That might be a decoy. We it continue by foot. Heavy. And by kind of heavy, I mean pretty damned heavy. <laughs> The wind starts back up. Varth. Yes, Mr. Knight. How quickly can you travel by foot? Uh, faster than the cart. Good, then. We shall need to go by foot. I usually to go by foot. I didn't catch that. I Please. usually go by foot. Bear. How? Oh. Hmm. Yes. Grab whatever from your cart you might need. We must continue on foot. Hmm. Oh. The earth you use shall make sword. Us he kind of like you notice for a second and looks at your sword. It's a bitchin' sword. Uh, you won this one, and he shows you the stinging one. A uh, stinging metal? Stinging seal? Stinging. Stinging that he just took from the other guy that just wouldn't run away. Does he present it towards him? Yeah, he shows it to you. I'll if take you a couple steps back. I do not care for it. Maybe Sigmund will want it. 
Uh, you were saying? Sorry, I had we my We must mind. continue. Mm -hmm. Do what you will with your servants. If they cannot keep up, we leave them. Oh. Uh, and we shall find the girl. Oh, where's mistress? Go. Spotty man. Uh, when I left her, she was flying that way, as Jaku says, cresting the hill. You're walking back, Sigmund, are you yeah. um, panting? Or a uh, view set off? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, I think, oh. like, Sigmund kept running, and oh, okay. You're Jaku, near, like, Sigmund. stopped, grabbed a little snack, and then... Came back. Like, Took a nap, and suddenly the tortoise had won the fucking race. <laughs> Yeah. What? No, like, it's just, you know, it was pointless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like, the... what? There's no good goddamn reason to continue running after it like that. Um. I forgot the names. Feather, Jewel, Ox, and Pudding are all kind of gathered around. Let's just go north. We should go north. Oh, yeah? We got. To serve mistress, she's alone out there. She'd die from cold or bears or demons, probably. Seems likely. He looks around at the sleeping demons that are nearby. Like, then you guys should raid these dead bodies and armor and arm up. Uh, just a side note, Luke, I uh, realize I did not go deaf. Homogenous covers me. Oh, has that provided you some protective hearing? Yeah. Cool stuff. How fared Cover from the attacks? Does the city still stand? Someone gonna answer it? Must it be servants? I, I, don't... I, I, I don't know. Probably not. You were there, just like. Oh, were we? That was where we where we stole all the crystal. That's where we def were at the fort and had the meeting and. You woke up oh. there. Cover yeah. is the abandoned okay. town. Okay. So there's a lot of looting opportunities there. Okay. Yeah. Had they horses? Yes, is the answer if anyone's forgot. Uh, yes. Then we must go there, equip, and then we can continue. A horse can travel far farther than a human, especially farther than a verth. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, Sigmund is long far gone, right? Uh, he's, a, he's probably still running at this point, panting. Uh, make me a series of HT checks, Sigmund. Make me three HT checks. You already had him uh, stop at the uh, two trees. Mm, he might get a bit further, I don't know. Do you want me to roll HT still? No, no, you, you, it's true. You are just running and panting at the minute, screaming. Oh, Rick will point out. What of Sigmund? We meet him with another horse on the way. And with that, Doman will take off riding towards the town. Bye, shiny knights. Uh... Spotty man, bunny, bear. We need to go after mistress, correct? She fly away that way. She's so small, I can't see her for a long time. Jack was still nearby, right? Yeah, you're all there. Except for Sigmund mm -hmm. and Orn. And he, the knight. He and... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, uh, he was just now going to turn to Jacko and as. What will you do? Uh, we should go get horses. 
Right. Even I can't outpace these things. Then we must go. I do not believe we will be able to convince Sigmund either. Yeah, and then I'll grab my bag from the cart. Uh. Oh. Yeah, your bag was thrown clear. Are you oh. okay? It's there. Did you keep all nice. your belongings in one bag? Not all my belongings, but like, you know, the, the I've got a bag with some more traveler's rations, uh, the brush, the cleaning supplies, the tent, blanket, personal basics. Like, all the food is burnt. But it's uh, only, like, uh, an hour or so back to town, two hours. Some I mean, it, now, it was in my bag. Snacks. Food in your yeah. bag is okay, yeah. But, like, oh, okay. the major cash of the stores did not survive. And all the gemstones and stuff, yeah. Absolutely fine. <laughs> a good portion of those are in the box. Mm. But yes. So uh, that's what's in the box. No, what's in the box is a bunch of anvils, or an anvil and a bunch of jewelry making stuff. That was a movie reference. I know. Was it indeed? <laughs> Seven. I was just about to ask whose turn it were. I think it's Sigmund's. Uh, yeah, let's try and catch up with time here a bit. Sigmund, you've been laying on the ground for a while. How fit are you? Fit? How fit am I? I actually don't have that advantage. Not fit at all. So after about uh, 10 minutes, you stop just panting to death. Uh, you still can't really stand and move more than one or two meters a second it's something uh what would you like to do sorry what did you say what what would you like to do what is sigmund's next move what is sigmund thinking right now uh i would scream but I can't really scream right now without pissing all of everybody in my house. But that's what Sigmund's doing. And a lot of thinking. it, a, a lot of it is just that he he's really mad at himself because he's failed again. After leaving a life where guilt has torn him up on such a level, he is now experiencing that guilt again in the form of his daughter getting kidnapped again. And this isn't like a wizard. This is a dragon. So it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of shouting. It's a lot of screaming. It's a lot of stabbing the trees and just having a massive amount of anger. Well, uh, there you have it. So there you have it. The, Father is mad at himself. Do you carry on moving? I'm guessing yeah. you take a sip out of your water skin. Oh yeah. And just press on forward. Make me a hiking check at this point, please. What is the default to that? Uh, HT minus HT. four. Minus four. Okay. Nope. Yeah, what's your basic move? So... What'd you say, Luke? Your basic move. The My basic move is six. Oh, with zero FP? Uh, no, no, is... um, once you got back up to, you know, enough FP for it to be at... So, like, two? Max fear encumbrance, or, I don't know, whenever you'd set off. Uh, well, 11 for my move when this all started. Uh, it's, it's six. My move is six. Move is six. How clear are you thinking? Will you wait until you're rested enough to actually cover some distance, or...? I don't even know. He's he, he's literally just running, man. He is a father who has lost his daughter. <laughs> Think about that. He he is going as far as his legs will carry him right now. And you go overland. Fun. You make it to the river. Uh, at like 
an hour after night falls, at the same time that Orn's at the river ahead of you, you end up here. By the way, I'm going to put myself under a couple rocks underwater to sleep. Right, you. So I guess Doman's arriving at the town then? Uh, no. Yeah, you'd get to town before dark, Doman, if you ride your horse full speed. It, it's half an hour. Yeah, there you go. Not long How many all. horses? Uh, none. It looks like the stable at the fort had capacity for a few horses, but there's none there anymore. There is a bit of horse feed left. It looks like some people left in a hurry in the last couple of days. And took all the horses with him. The town is a ghost town. It's eerie. Super spooky. Drat. Is that all you're saying? <laughs> Was totally still expecting horses. Yeah, I'm sorry. They were two left, and the captain of the guard did order two of his men to stay at the fort. But uh, not long after you left town, like, maybe... Not not you, personally. Like, an hour before... Or, no, yeah. Pretty much at noon, they fled with the horses. So, like, four hours ago, they went south, abandoned the posts. Not that you know that. There's just no horses. I, I, I feel like when we all get into town and realize there's no horses and it's dark and late. It, yeah, it's not dark. It's only, like, two. Maybe three tops. Three for him. Maybe half three, four, when... Everyone's finally um, arrived. No horses. Well? Magic is then our only option. Are you a mage, sir? Spots is mage. What is accent I do? Very strange. A Borat. <laughs> <laughs> Spotty maids, you bring mistress back. We we have to try, right? Then do it. Get to <laughs> brewing. You do it always, all night, all all time. Get to brewing. Come on, clip cloppity. Get off my property. Clippity the all start chanting. Clippity cloppity. Brew some property. Brew some property. <laughs> I, I I think at that, Jaku wanders up to... I assume the fort is, like, the biggest building? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. And I am gonna go find, like, the commander's bunk. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of soft bunks in there. Thus. Yes? No, you of Crossroads. I, I'm an alchemist. I have known truly inept mages in my day. I have not known many mages, actually. Can you lighten our burden? Get us there faster. Uh, I, I I can make I can make everyone stronger, so you can carry more. Or, you know, with the same load, it will be easier. You know not of crossroads then. 
I have I, I do have some knowledge of crossroads, but I mean I went down to the crossroads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been down. What are we gonna do with the dragon? Um, could I give One a second. strategy? No worries. Uh, yeah. Strategy land or survival mountain, whichever you want. Uh, what are you trying to strategize here? Generally. If you're heading in a place that has dragons, how would you deal with it? Not how would you specifically fight it once the battle, once you get to battle, but how would you approach the issue of mm -hmm. heading to a place with a bunch of dragons? Not, not to be a Debbie Downer here, but how does your character know how to deal with the dragons to start with? Mm, uh, He's been around the block. Yeah. I think you fought big birds thing, before. Right? Yeah, they're a thing, but uh, that is still the first dragon you've ever seen. Okay, so yeah, just general flying, yeah, ducting pests. Mm-hmm. Because he was stationed in a mountain area. Uh huh. Give me the survival mountain. By one. Mm -hmm. It's all about not being seen. Uh, you're always at a major disadvantage. Um, all those mountains have got major cave systems, though. And it might be possible to get most or all of the way up a lot of them mountains inside rather than on the surface. Which definitely be an advantage. Verth, you must first create a spell, potion, I suppose, to locate her. Then you must create a potion that can get us there faster. If we stick to the tunnels once you're at the mountains, we can get closer to her. Uh, yeah, but there, there's a lot of lifts there. I suppose, it, suppose it's something we can try. So, sorry, I don't mean to disintrude, but I did move faster. No legs aerial means you can still move double base speed. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, calculate base speed as usual and use twice the normal value to determine your basic move air as described for flight. You must purchase the flight advantage. I did. Yeah. Then you have the flight advantage for times two. What do you So I was moving at 13 then. So that changes the math a bit. Uh -huh. so. At about 65% of its speed. Oh. Uh, I did that yeah. wrong. Misclick. What were my result there? 200 and some yeah, so, in fact, it lands while you're about here, but you But could... you guys, uh, do, do the stuff, because I'm still, like, six hours ahead of these guys. Do everyone's stuff. Yeah, so, you see it landing at, like, five to six-ish, somewhere between those. Okay. 
but continue doing other people's stuff. I just wanted to interject because I read the rules. Uh huh. No, cool stuff. I did not realize you had the flight advantage. Apologies. I thought you just had the no legs. Uh, nope. I have flight, uh, flight regular um, with a modifier always on. Gotcha. So, like, I can't sit or anything like that. If I want to bed myself on the ground, I have to, like, bury myself in rocks or dirt or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, guys at town discussing potions? Yep. Jagger's, like, uh, uh, building up a fire and cleaning up and getting his gear all set <laughs> you're just in the um like main quarters of the fort yep you're probably all at the fort right now well all of it and chased the dragon you druggies ah there's a bunch of people here on this map that aren't really here doggo and lord fluffy bottoms are with you though they look sad. They yelping, sniffing around for Leah and Orn and Sigmund and not being able to find them. Who's that shady character? Get rid of him. These are the levels to this. I'm not sure if an Aya one's nicer. Yeah, I found some horses. Oh, right. The horses need deleting too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks you for the reminder. Said anything? <laughs> Maybe he'd have forgotten that he said there was no horses. Uh, okay. Uh, so... You're just pretty much resting in this abandoned town. Is um, Spot able to make potions that have an energy cost of um, 36, uh, 45? Uh, yeah, I think 45 is doable. Can he do uh, higher? If he has help from other people giving their FP before they go to bed. Oh, he, he cannot get help from other people. Oh, you oh. He has solitary uh, type of uh, major, not, not major, uh, uh -huh. ritual adept. So if someone gets too close, it just ruins everything. Oh, that explains a lot. Okay. It it sounds like it might be a good time to kind of wind down. But at least, you know, see what Orn does. Uh, yeah, I think the... I think the first thing is what's going to make up or try to prepare something to locate people. Uh, specifically, Leah, Orn, and Igmund. Because mm -hmm. we don't know where they went, actually. Yep, just northwest were all you got. You know, and they could have changed direction after they went out of line of sight, so... Yeah. I carried that flaming sheep for as long as I could, but that probably didn't last very long. <laughs> oh, you were a beacon. Small. Um, I've just done the math for the... Uh getting us their spell and it'll be three hours to get there if you make a potion that can affect oh. all the urine right yeah i have to add the um number of people 
or I suppose energy or mass, sorry. Well, it depends on uh, yeah, how which, it actually works. Uh, it depends on the spell. Creating, cr creating a crossroads, create a crossroads, you basically... I'm not sure how you have crossroads are working. Are you, like, traveling through, like, a parallel dimension of some sort? Uh, yeah, if you've got knowledge of other dimensions, you could open one where space there is sh what shorter relative to it the way they make the way they mechanically work is that if they make if they get you there faster than you would get by foot like you just pay the sp energy for the speed they're getting you there at so if they're getting you there with a speed of 15 you pay the energy cost on the speed range table for 15 Uh, no, I don't think crossroads work like this in this world. Oh, they don't work like that in this world. Would the effective energy cost be calculated the same, though, for finding uh, your way that, like that? If there's a crossroad that you can detect within no, range... Like create crossroads. Greater yeah, create crossroads. It, you'd need a greater create crossroads... Uh, with That's a range to where for. it's going. You have to choose the entrance and the exit. Okay, so you do range instead of speed, and how is the duration it takes to get there determined? Uh, it'd be instantaneous. You walk through the entrance and you come out the exit. And you need to hold the portal open for a certain amount of time, though, as well. I suppose that'd be the speed range table cost rather than the long range table cost, though, then. You've met a lot of spells like this in the past in Z-Warrior. Yeah, with Trant. Yeah, uh, can you afford him as a spot? Uh, well, the first question there is, can Alchemy do this sort of thing? Uh, yeah, I, I don't see why Alchemy wouldn't be able to achieve anything that Ritual Path Magic could. Without. I mean, thematically, it's potions. Uh, oh, well, that's just why two so says that's what you said. Yeah, because well, the, the restriction is literally whatever the GM allows as alchemy. Okay. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, some of the spells you could literally just be like, okay, so you make a potion that when you activate the spell... You throw it on the ground and it's a gas cloud. Yeah, and you you walk yeah. through the vision impermeable mist and emerge in the other location. Bainstorm in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. uh, if if the game master allows, I'm I'm okay with it. Yeah, I, I would allow that. Um, Providing it's expensive enough. <laughs> How would the cost be calculated uh, then for this? Uh, also, also as the GM, Luke, you should provide the uh, add another caveat that it has to be dramatized. So it, it has to you you have to explain it. What yeah. what is it? It's a mission to make a crossroads. Uh, you always run the risk of accidentally having it, you know, pass through a hell realm. Or, the warp. or the asparagus world which is like almost identical to this world but there's a lot of asparagus growing everywhere and there's an especially large amount of asparagus growing in places where cities are in this world uh -huh. I thought you were going to say where the sun don't shine <laughs> interesting Freud Hmm? <laughs> Freud, uh, <laughs> I, I was saying that thinking now we're going to say where the sun don't shine, we're a Freudian slip. But Sigmund responds to Freud, apparently. <laughs> 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 That's what got me. Sigmund running there across land. Oh, sweating, shaking his brow. But yeah, Luke... How then 
Do you just pay the flat cost for crossing between dimensions then? Uh, no, you'd have to go for the range. It'd technically be cheaper to go through two dimensions. I'm pretty sure that's so right, you, isn't it? Is it long range plus two dimensions then? Uh, it'd just be the long range modifier, or maybe okay, just the long range plus the cost of traveling between dimensions twice. Is that right, Z Warrior? That's roughly the. That's a bit more expensive, I think. Uh, see how much it costs. <laughs> Let me know. I've got my players doing this work for me. That's because I'm so lazy. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's one way to do it. But if you've like not got path crossroads and stuff, then you've barely theorized on all this stuff before. Oh, I have zero points in path skills. Wait, what? Alchemy lets you substitute it, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Good point. Yeah, that's me. that's why I was also like, it doesn't really make sense to me. But if it's just like a missed thing, then yeah, I can kind of see it. Yeah, no, I can. Mm -hmm. There's lots of options for potions as well. Uh, it could also be a potion that you drink that, you know, teleports you. Sucks you. Yeah, that's one thing that can... That's easy to envision, like a potion that grants someone the ability to teletransport themselves. Okay. Mm. But Perhaps that's, you would have to make a potion that grants the advantage jumper or warp, yeah, whichever but it that's is. Like beyond, beyond the energy level I can achieve. Uh -huh. That is very expensive. These are important questions that should be answered. If you can make a mist that lasts long enough. And as the weight requirements to allow that much to pass through it, and as the range to reach the two locations. Then I think I'd be happy with that rather than having to grant warp. But we'd have to see how much that costs as well. Yeah, I remember looking at it briefly before, and uh, everything was kind of way beyond. Way, way beyond that forty-five-ish. Yeah. Radio. Mm-hmm. Uh. Ulrich, you've been quiet. Well, after that, he's thinking much more about what would have happened. Uh, you guys caught him up with uh, Leah being kidnapped, right? You but saw that along with everyone else. Okay, so I did saw that. I guess I'm going to stay with the dog who is trying to feed, the, feed them, keep them company, try to think about another song, because I just realized that the this spell song is not gonna cut it against magic if they cast a lot of things like that. So he's thinking he needs something against a lot of people, and at that point he starts to remember something he didn't want to, and is starting to consider using it. Okay, the dogs are epically sad. They're so sad. Roll he me a will check, please. Okay. He oh. him and tells him, all will be well. Yeah, you managed to not just cry at how sad these dogs are, whining under the table. Someone needs to be strong. But it's super pathetic. Super pathetic. <laughs> uh, so, it seems like Spot's finding the dark place, setting up his magical equipment and planning with uh, this knight fella, Doman, has shown up. Correct? Pretty much. Safe to have you doing that for the next four to five hours? 
uh, the servants will produce food and bring it to you at some point. Nice. They found this plenty in the stores here that people didn't have enough space to take with them. And it's not rotten yet, given that it's only been two days. Nice. Uh, so I think it might be time to see what Orn's doing. Might okay. be good. Pardon? Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was, was going to say, uh, after Orn, it might be a good place to wind down at that point. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm looking for the last 20 or so minutes here. We'll see how much of a cliffhanger Orn can make. <laughs> I'm good at that. Yeah. Alright, so did it land at the top of the mountain? Near the top, but not the tippy top. It's super so there's craggy. a cave or something. Yeah, it's not super high here. Uh, like, you can see the mountains off to your west are much higher. Were there demons and stuff that I could see on the ground? Was this Is this, like, territory just teeming? Uh, did I basically fly into the equivalent of Mordor? Yeah, that's a good That's a good question. Where is Sigmund been walking through? Uh, so, it's been... It looks pretty much normal for Sigmund. Um... Definitely. You could still see smoke rising from Tombod off to the east. Um, you're at the river about this time, probably stopping and exhausted. Uh, you will see a body float down the river at some point for sure. And on it is just as it's getting to dusky times when you arrive around the mountains that you do see in the foothills just to the east here around that side of the mountain you definitely saw the dragon come this way well yeah i thought you said i saw where it landed and went in because i was so close behind it yeah but uh as you were coming up you saw around this area a pretty huge looking demon army camp Okay, but this isn't like the it isn't like ten million all around the freaking mountain bases and stuff. No. Okay. A few thousand camps. So with my size and how how I shouldn't be worrying about probably stuff no no like you, that right now. Okay. Uh, you spot you do see a couple of like fires on this mountainside as you're going around it, getting lit as the sun's setting. So I'll just give this a little bit more of a berth, but otherwise, you said I get to the mountain at about six hours, correct? Yeah, at six hours you would be getting me in spitting distance. All right. So, how big is the cave? And the dragon didn't leave, did it? Uh, no. Um... There's no fires about. Is there other demons or anything? Do I need roll vision? Uh. Yeah, give me stealth first, I think, if you've got it. I do not. I'm, I'm not trying to be very stealthy. I'm I'm just high, is what I am. Okay, give me vision check. And small. If I can find... Oh, there it is. <laughs> by six. Success by six. Okay, when you get close enough to start making stuff out you're probably about 100 meters or so off it's a big plateau there is a fire just been lit on the edge of it you can see there's three or four of the demony types milling around out there and a fairly large cave entrance at the back of it is dark you can't really see down it but that's about okay. it it's pretty much like a helipad for a dragon is how it looks and though those four demons are on the helipad or nearby the helipad uh nearby close to the edge over uh like to the east it's perhaps 30 yards wide and they've got a fire built on the eastern tip of it all right can i see any water nearby uh, no they pretty it's pretty dry up this mountain top although Possibly a little bit of snow. I'm looking for mud. I think you could find some mud, yeah. I just bury myself in the mud and poke out. 
Okay. Buried in mud. There's no predator after you, but... Uh, yeah, I, I'm shiny, and I didn't want to fight the <laughs> Smart. Okay, have you got camouflage? I do not, but I do believe that is an IQ-based skill. I just don't remember what the default is. Let me just look it up here. Skills. I'm close. Camouflage. Camouflage is IQ minus four. Show us that check. By three. Yeah, pretty good camouflage. Then I am just moving as slowly as possible, hugging the wall of that cliff high above, because people hardly ever look up, <laughs> is the thing. Okay, okay. So I'm coming in basically from the tip of the mountain, hugging the wall, and then over down the cave. Uh, give me a defaulted stealth, please. What is that default to stealth? stealth, stealth IQ stealth. minus four, I'm pretty sure. Maybe uh, minus yeah, five. but uh, does size modifier play into this? I do not remember. Uh, it will, but for there to spot rather than your stealth. to hide. Okay, so it, yes, it is IQ minus five. Come on, dice gods. Oh, by one. I failed. Mm. But I don't know if the survive, if the, um, the camouflage the will definitely camouflage. Help, yeah. Give me a bonus. So uh, it's up to you. No, they don't notice you. You manage to slip into that cave entrance and none of them even turn around. They're all staring down off the mountain, chattering, okay. at, chattering at each other in that ancient wretch. Anything can I can pick up while I'm slowly moving down there? Uh, they're playing a, a game using, it looks like, two bones. Okay, so they're just like saying, ah, you got it. Ooh, that happened. Apparently one, I will of crush them, you. one of them's cheating. Okay. All right, then I will continue down the cave and very, again, closely hugging the ceiling and quietly as I can go until I see her. Radio. Do you uh, need another vision or are we just... Um, You can see there's light further ahead and it does open up a bit. Uh, you can hear that w w the school net from earlier shouting at some people, a room in general. G give me a hearing check, please. Mm-hmm. By six. Yeah, you pick most of this up. Uh, this... Stupid, foolish! What did they do to the, my precious book? Now it's run away. God only knows where. I can't be having this. You hear like a, a deep rumble, and he's like, "Yeah, not you, my pretty. You are perfect. You got girl, good. Yes, good, pretty, my my beautiful." But you are fools. You're all idiots. You'll find me that book. I need more soldiers going out. And that's like as you're creeping close. And then when your eyes adjust as you've reached the lip, you can see there's uh, maybe six more demons in here. Two of them are the uh, shady-faced, glowing eyes variety. Wait, the big ones? Uh, not the super-armoured ones, but the kind that of ridden horses and dragons. Okay, but can I see Leah? Uh, no, but there's more tunnels coming off from this place. All right, so that's just a room. Uh huh. Uh, there's lots of eyes in here though. Um. Do you need another stealth? It would be multiple stealth checks to cross that room, most likely. Oh wait, so it's. So, it's not that this is one room down a hallway. It's this is the hall main room, and then yeah, this is like a, come off of it. Yeah, it's a big main hall, and uh, you're coming in at one side where people have mostly got the backs turned to you, but the other doors are all on the other side of them. How high is the ceiling? Uh, not very. Uh, two meters. No, wait. It's like two meters at the edge, but it dips. 
bowl shaped slightly uh, and it goes up to about five meters in the middle where then the I'm gonna dragon's stay. curled up oh well i'm gonna try to get to one of those things that's gonna be i have a plan if i screw this up but uh let's see oh it's from so minus five uh did we find out what the bonus is from the oh, Failed by two. I don't know what my bonus is for being camouflaged. I uh, just need to double check someone's sense of smell, hearing, vision, etc. It's, it's pretty good, though, if I recall. Yeah, also got... this is a stupid idea, but I'm trying it anyway. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, which Were you going up to the ceiling? To try and cross uh, yeah, that trying way. to, yeah, yeah. You get about halfway up, and suddenly the dragon is stirring, and it like, <laughs> and it's looking right at you, and kind of everyone turns to look up at you. Then I'll wave and kind of go, "Hi," in their language, so it probably sounds like, nah, nah. "You." It is you from Kart who burn my book. Float down a little bit out of range, but still in talking distance. And be like, I mean, you didn't leave us much of a choice. He stood next to the dragon and uh, it's got to its feet. It's like curling its tail around him a little bit protectively. You could have given me book. I was about to ask for it. Well, you didn't ask for it. I was about to. Instead, you well, decided to start manhandling my tome. And then you try to burn it? What kind of way to treat precious ancient artifact is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I tried to tear a page out to fit it inside me. You the lantern caught the whole cart on fire. Line check. This person's IQ is 16. All right, so I get a plus one. <laughs> Four. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's got detect why is it that? This, I, I saw, I saw. Flint and steel in your hand. I know you are lying. <coughs> Damn, that didn't work. Uh, kind of shrug. Listen, I'm willing to make a deal here. Speak. <laughs> sure, I am excited to deal. Now that I know you do not have half of what I want, and I have all of what you might want, probably want. Sorry, what? <laughs> Does my speak confuse me? It confuse you. Is he is it speaking Mithin or Demon or Retchen? Uh, that old wretch language. <laughs> You have no bargaining chip. What deal could you make that I'd be interested in? I know where your book is. Uh, another this act. Isn't a lie check. Yeah. Come on. Same target. Uh, you succeeded by five. Oh, it's. <laughs> No one on Earth know where my book is right now. Earth? What is Earth? No one on Shara know where my book is. Really? Keep pushing this. Yes, really. So why do you tell lie? You know, he's like reaching onto the table and he you see there's a gold crown there just lying on a table he picks it up my precious here uh what is your name precious 
Andrea Skowska Berenayesh. What is the crown? Uh, he flicks the crown and the dragon catches it and swallows it. <laughs> Andrea Skowska Berenaya <laughs> is the name of my dragon. She can eat anything. She would be glad to swallow you, little rock. Little muddy rock. You were much shinier earlier. Yeah, I, I just flew after you guys for like a bunch of time. I got muddy. So why do you lie? Tell me one more lie, and Andreas Koski of Berea will eat you. I was lying because it was a thing I apparently thought I was good at. I won't lie anymore. Listen. Is that you a took lie? My... All right. I mean, <laughs> right now, no. <laughs> I am 8,922 years old in this body. I know when someone is lying to me. Cool, cool. You took my daughter. Uh, excuse me, I do not think child I have is your daughter. You may be confused. Not, not on a biological level, but... Oh, or the pet. emotional level. Like how I care for Andrea Skowska by Anara Vanellia. Yeah, and Although wouldn't I you do anything? True parent to Andrea Skowska. Well, wouldn't you do anything for Andrea Skowska? Mm, yes, most things. But this girl who you have attachment to, she's too useful. She cannot leave, ever. Never in a million years. Yeah, you hear that? She can't leave you ever. <laughs> and she is too attached. Even if? Even if this this one's willing to owe you a debt? <laughs> uh, yes, even if. No debt, even of entire planet itself. I don't even know. Even of identical girl. As debt form would not be good enough for me to give up girl now. What would you want for the girl? Hmm. <laughs> Another girl? Uh, with same power right here, right now. Uh, or my book back. <laughs> yeah, if you can find my book, then I no longer need girl, probably. Having both what would be nice. What is your here? Uh, why would I tell you that? What, am I stupid? I don't know. No. I don't know if you're stupid. I'm very smart. I live long time. I know many things. And so, um, if you bring me book back, maybe I give you girl when I'm done with book and girl. Well, then, just can I detect motive? Uh, is that a skill? It would detect lies, because I think she's going to, you know, the girl will be dead. Okay, radio. Only by two. Champ, what is with the laser today? Screw you, laser. Uh, I'm not really trying. Uh, no, girl will be in one piece. As much as everything else is. Mm -hmm. there's, there's something else here, yeah. Uh, after he's done with the girl in the book, something real bad is going to happen to a lot of people, you'd imagine? Yeah. Well, anyway. I think at this point, I'm probably, it's pretty late. We should probably cinematically kidnap me or something, because I screwed this up royally. Uh, he wasn't just going to kill you on the spot. No. Uh, unless you refuse to leave we out. I mean, you could, I suppose. Yeah, live we. <laughs> we'll go Western Marches style. But uh, you do still have an option to leave. No one's really encroached on you much. And you're still closest to that door behind you. And you... So if I can get the book back, you'll give the girl back. Mm, I would consider it, yes. No, can we please make a deal with diplomacy? <laughs> yeah. God damn it, laser! Oh, wow, it's being really nasty to you. I mean, you can laser? make a deal, but Sigmund is still going to fucking kill them all anyways. No, I know, I'm just trying to... 
Uh, they're just making a... Oh, they just... Uh, I'm just going to whisper something to myself so that people watching can see it. Whisper, whisper. Uh, anyone can metagame if they want. <laughs> but after the episode, you can see it. People here don't metagame, you know. So... Yes, uh, no, I need girl and book at the same time, but after I'm done with both, you can have girl back. I need book soon, so if you could just meet me in place with book, that would be great. I will have girl. I promise she will not be harmed. I need her in working human condition. <laughs> And you can you can, can even start? witness you can witness the ritual. I will cast can a I great see? ritual. Okay, okay. Can, can I see her? The girl. Yeah. Yes, you can see her. Come on, this way. Guards, come on. He points at two of the riders to accompany you. He's like, try anything strange. I have them chop you in half, little crystal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, do, so do you cross the hall? Cross the room even? I'm gonna check on her, yeah. Yeah, uh, you follow him uh, through one of the doorways that were behind him and the dragon. Uh, it slopes down for about 20 meters till it comes out in a little prison cell area and she's locked in a cage in a room for about five or six cages. They're a bit bigger than human sized so she's got a fair bit of room to stand and sit and lay down. Okay. Th there's a bucket in there. As you hey, walk, kiddo. Uh, she doesn't currently have a mouth. Currently doesn't have a mouth. As in smooth skin over where the lips were. Hey, wait a second. Tears streaming down her face. And she's like, mm -hmm, as she sees you come through the door. And he's like, oh, yes, she was very noisy. Ugh. Could you... And a mouth reforms. And she's like, oh, okay. my God, on, on, let me in. Let me out. I'm trying, honey, but... Uh, Where's Dad? I don't know. I just rushed after you. What is this? If you're just going to kill me, just kill me already. He's All like, right, so uh, is she noisy? Annoying. I'll I... leave you for a little while. Guards, watch them. Okay, can I get right up next to the, the yeah. thing? Yeah, you could fly in it, but the guards will, like, walk towards you and, like, we kill you easy. What am I gonna do? We watch. No touch. I didn't fly in. No touching. Andrea Skowska by Aranea. All right. So, what I want to do is I can get close, right? Like right uh, up to the edge there. Yeah. And can they see? Can they see me from this angle? My uh, front. Yeah, they they watch in very closely. From like all sides. Uh, well. Basically, yeah. I wanted to. Put One of them's walked on the... around the other side of the cage. To see what you're doing. Can I? I can't hug her or anything. She's having a spasm. If you want her to calm down, I need to give her a hug. No touching. All right, come here, kiddo. You can't touch me, but you can get it pull in close. She's just like. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna whisper. They don't. They need you alive, so just play cool, or just be good. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Uh, Can I? Uh, yeah, psychology. don't be stupid. Psychology. Yeah, show us psychology. Come on, laser! Don't be a dick. Oh, it's being hell. pretty dickish, but no, yeah, it's uh, you can definitely calm it down a bit. She's uh, like. They definitely don't want to kill me. They're going to, they want to use you for some ritual, so you have time and we will get you, okay? Mm. Don't leave me on, just stay here, please. I'm sure. I'm, 
I'm gonna stay quick close by. They're gonna if you need to dragon if I stay. Okay. So do I know enough about magic that it, would something be like if I give her like a set of a, my one of my dice from my dice set would that be like a magical connection enough to be able to get a lock on something? Do I know any of that? I am a prolific reader, but I don't. Thaumatology skill? Occultism would work a bit as well. Occultism? Okay. Maybe occultism oh. like a penalty. I'll just roll straight up and see how much it does. God damn it! By wow. two, what is with you today? So many bad rolls today. Oh my god. Uh, it can't hurt at all. All right. Like, uh, so, I'm guessing you've got a matching dice set. Is it a bespoke I, I, dice set made just for you? It is. So, yeah, like, you know, all those dice are pretty much identical to each other. Yeah. Or at least made from the same bone or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that, you know, uh, if the, it's a set of dice made from one leg bone or something, and... If you gave her one dice, it'd definitely be something you could track. Alright. But so, you also know that a magician could probably just track her. I know, but I'm, a physical connection of some kind mm -hmm. wouldn't... Because they probably are... I don't know. It's it's what, it I'm, hurt, what I got right now. It would but she'd need to have it on her. It would be able to tell you if she ever dropped or lost the dice. Yeah. All right. So can I basically kind of not cough up, but get it on my upper hole there? Like work it through my. This be a sleight of hand check. What's that default to? Uh, it's hard. I'm pretty sure it's a DX based one as well. I don't think that one has a default. Oh, really? Filch minus five. What is. Filch. I can't do it then. It's probably DX. Yeah, DX minus 10. Yeah, there's, it's physically impossible. Okay, never mind. I'll just... Alright, hon. She's just I'll... Like sniffing. Well, don't worry. We got you, okay? We got you covered. She just nods. And then she does reach forward and hug you real fast. And the guard, like, bashes his big sword against Cage and she flinches back. Okay. And Scoovnet bloke's walking back in and he's like, what is this? Not... She hugged me. She's scared. <clears throat> Very good. You have time together you need? Come on, you see, girl. Back now. Time for you to leave. Go if fetch she me doesn't... Back. If she doesn't... Scream anymore? You promise not to pull, get rid of her face? Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. No. I will leave her face intact. All right. Wait. Does she still have that bracelet? Uh, no. They've taken it off her. Uh, mm -hmm. she will. She weren't wearing her normal clothes in there. She was wearing, like a weird, white gown. Okay. Well, it's muddy now, but yeah. A bit muddy here. Yeah. Well, that's all I... Uh, I'll leave, I She guess. cast them all while she was flying in the dragon. Uh, she, like... You, you probably saw a couple of fireballs come off the dragon from Leah. Well, I was specifically looking for the charm bit. Mm -hmm. No, she either used them all or they've or been... the, the golden bracer because I still have some of that gold left. Oh uh, yeah, no, that's. But okay, wasn't cool. Only a... I don't want to take up any more time. We're way running late, mm -hmm. and this is a good place to stop. Yep, this is a a good stopping point. So, I will thank them, leave, and then just go straight to the top of the mountain and buzz bury myself down and be scared because I'm alone. 
Radio. Sigmund, final moments as uh, you're losing consciousness because you cannot physically stay awake any longer. Although, uh, where am I? maybe you can. You're at the river. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm still just going to keep on pressing forward, but if I'm about to fall unconscious, then I'm going to try to find a place that, like, like a tree or something with a loft that I could just chill on. There's a black out there. Radio. Uh, roll me some kind of will check. Just, just give me a will check. Let's see how willful you're able to be. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not good right now. There's your will. You press on all night. Your body is like you're wrecking your body right now. Take a take. One damage. One HP okay, lost. Right. But uh, like when the sun rises, or even by midnight, <laughs> you've reached the next river. You can see the flickers of campfires up that mountain. Right. And beyond. Uh, people back at town. Jakku uh, had a nap and then probably, uh, I don't know what he's been doing up till midnight. Oh, you know, he took a nap and then he, you know... Was awake. <laughs> yeah. Cleaning all his gear. General. The... the Zen jobby. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. All rigs looking after the dogs. Eating. Then just bedding down, all rig. Yeah, mostly. And the alchemist. Obscuro Coxineus Cornucopioides. And the knight, Doman. Doman went to sleep. Doman went to sleep. <laughs> the Verth, I'm sure, obsessively brews all the potions he's had planned out. Yeah. And does that all night. So, aye aye. We were the Kobold Cafe. That Actually, was... Luke, oh. can I make one more roll before we go? <laughs> oh, go on, let's see. What you want to uh, do? It was just my observation uh, check. While you were in that place. While I was in there, I just wanted to specifically look for, I'd, or, and maybe this would actually be geology, I wanted to look for holes or things in that maybe could lead me in there as a back entrance or anything like that, since I got a lay of the land. What do you want, observation, or do you want uh, geology? or Observation would be your best bet. Uh, it wasn't all natural. A lot of it seemed to have been carved. Have you got history? But, okay. Have you got archaeology? I don't have archaeology, but I could. I don't know what that defaults to. But here's my observation check. Mm. Uh, there were definitely other ways that led to outside. So like air holes, because a cave like that would need air holes and stuff. Yeah, you could that feel. Size. Yeah. There's definitely okay. other ways out. Uh, maybe not, you know, ones that are only big enough for you. But there's definitely more than one egg entrance. All right, and uh, that's all I really wanted before, while I was in there. Just... Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we don't want returning shortly. We want the end credits. I was the GM, Luke. Uh, we had James. Hey, I was Jakku. And it was good time. <laughs> we had Z-Warrior. Hey, I was playing Obscuro, the the Birth Alchemist, and I this time the, dra the dragon got away. <laughs> Obscuro, Coxinea, uh, Cornucopioides, Argoneo, Viridescence, Tremolo, Dendros, Patistro, Bilomyces.
there you go. I was looking at it at that time, and it was somehow a bit worse. <laughs> we had ever off. Hi, I was Ulrich, your always happy traveling bard. Uh, three sessions without a uh, wound to the groin? Yay, and counting. A whole week, I think, too. <laughs> yeah, a whole week in game time, pretty much. He got better. <laughs> God. That's an old one. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we had Terra. We, the the laser, stupid laser. Screw that laser. Terrible, roll, terrible roll. rolls. It was awful this week. It, it but yeah, right I was born. Uh, catch us on Mondays for the game I run. Um, I you, there's no way to catch up because I'm 90% done editing the first couple episodes for the podcast. But it is more time consuming than I thought it would be. Oh yeah, I do not envy you. I'm quite lazy on the um, editing for these. And to be fair, uh, oh, also, this week's scores, uh, Ever comes in last with no F-bombs that I got. I come in second to last with half an F-bomb. Half an F? <laughs> the first half. Yeah, I was just like, uh, it was one of those things where I started saying it, and then I just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Z with one. Oh my god, Z. Potty mouth. That's going to be self-flagellation all night for Z-Warrior now. Jared with two. Uh, James and Luke tied with three. Half five. And then, and then ever so much our champion, Mr. Sigmund, who swears like a sailor with, for what I heard, because I did take a little bit of a break there to go get some Gatorades. Uh, it was... Alrighty. 16. Oh, <laughs> 16's not impressive. We've had much fucking sessions. Uh, we had Simon leading into Mr. Sailor. Hello. I'm Sigmund, the now broken dad. <laughs> I got your daughter. I say that as he's basically going to be sitting there ramboing and getting ready to kill that entire place. They drew first blood. Basically. And finally, we had Jared. Oh, it still lists you as Tabraria. What a noob mistake to not update the credits. Hi, I'm Jared playing Domon, and uh, we'll see how the next day goes. Mm. Dean, you're One of the possible plans involves a really weird contraption. Oh, exciting. We'll be back on Friday. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.